What's up? I am snacking. I bet you all can't guess what I'm snacking on. Text watch, you said 8.30. I said we'd hop in the call at 8.30. I said we're going live at 8. Uh, I should probably tweet that we are live. First, of course the first guess is a cinnamon roll. No, it's not a cinnamon roll. I am I am snacking on banana bread. I made banana bread and I'm eating it. So this will sustain me for the next however long we end up streaming for. I don't know how long uh, Monster Camp games tend to go. Actually, I only just Downloaded Monster Camp, like, now. <laughs> Hi, Wolfman! Ah, oh, thank you for the raid! Welcome, raiders, and welcome, Wolfman! About one to two hours? Is that, like... Is, is that similar to, like, you know multiplayer because there's three people playing <laughs> okay man rob welcome welcome to the stream thank you for coming do people like walnuts in their banana bread i do mm. i'm having a problem right now I'm having an issue. My issue is that I want to turn on Mifa Cam, but I accidentally booted up OBS before my capture for the webcam, and thus it is mad right now. And it won't let me open, <laughs> it won't let me open the actual like webcam. I'm sad. You gonna see that Sonic movie too tomorrow? Uh, probably not. I I didn't even see the first one. I'm not big on Sonic. I mean, Sonic's okay, but I wasn't like stoked. <laughs> you know. Very excited for this game. Both Monster Camp and Monster Prom were exactly my type of humor. See, so like. I have actually seen a few playthroughs of Monster Prom. Um, when I was staying at Adriana's, um, someone who was staying at the same time as me, uh, we just hung out and he played Monster Prom. And I just watched for hours. <laughs> so I've never actually played it myself, but I, I sat there and was like, what if you did this? You know, I, I backseated the whole thing. I remember Luca having a blast with this, so I suspect we'll say, well, oh, I'm sure I will. I'm absolutely sure I will. Also, I'll have good company. I'm very excited. I really want, I really want to get Monster Prom because of Scott, my beloved. Isn't that the, like, the, the jock guy? Isn't Scott the jock? You guys, this banana bread is so good. I'm very happy right now. The werewolf, yeah, awesome. See, Scott? Scott is probably the one that I remember the most. Mm, I don't really have my eyes on any monster because I don't remember. <laughs> a, I don't remember, and B, I don't know who exactly is in this game.
Wow, the, my webcam is just angry. It's just mad. It's fine. Yeah, it's not even popping up when I try to, like, refresh it. Wild. I broke everything. I broke me for cam. It's okay. HF, hi! How are you? I made it safely back to Jersey. That's good! That's good! I'm glad! I'm sore from the drive. I'd imagine so. Dude, 11 hours? That's wild. I couldn't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. Kudos to you. <laughs> Um, a one Jory J has cheered with a hundred bits. Thank you, Jory. Uh, a massive shout out to X Devlin. She's a really good friend of mine, an excellent voice actress and singer, and one of the nicest people I've ever interacted with. I couldn't believe it when I saw you'd be gaming with her. Yeah, she seems really nice. Um, I've never, I've never like spoken with her. Like this is the first time I'm really gonna be like interacting with her, so I'm very excited. Um, we're both- we're both mutual friends of, uh, G. And G was like, you should play with my friend! And I was like, any friend of G's is a friend of mine! So, um, I'm sure- I'm- I, I'm- I'm terribly shy. <laughs> I'm terribly shy, so I'm a- I'm a little bit- <laughs> No, but that's just a me thing. But I'm very excited. I'm super, super excited to, like, get to know her and, um, hang out with G. Hi, History Master! Well, total 13 on the road, 16 if you count rest stops, and two a two-hour nap at a truck stop. Wild, HF. That's, that's crazy. But good job, you made it. I'm glad that you are home safe and sound. Hi, Jasonic! Welcome, welcome. Uh, Sephiroth1204 has resubscribed to Twitch Prime for the 62nd month. Thank you. And NinjaMonkey548 has resubscribed for the 22nd month. Thank you so much. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 22 months of lurking. Well, best keep at it. Oh, NinjaMonkey, heck yeah. 20, we love our lurkers. You are free to lurk as much as you, as much as you feel like. But thank you for 22 months of support, dude. I do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I hope you've been well. Uh, Spies of Mud has resubscribed for the sixth month. Thank you, Spies. Uh, oh, six months. Also, I have recently completed Breath of the Wild for the first time. Was really impressed and happy how it ended. Glad your stream back in October or so got me to try it. Heck yeah! Oh, that's cool. I'm glad that my stream got you to, got you to give Breath of the Wild a go because it really is a gem. I need to continue that playthrough. I feel I feel like Breath of the Wild is the game that I play when I'm just like, I feel like I need a vibe out and go game, you know. But thank you for six months of sub spice. Luna Excel is resubscribed for the thirty first month. Thank you. <laughs> what, what's this about monsters? <laughs> yep, we're doing the monster thing. It is big monster camp days. Thank you, Blue. And Lawless M3 is cheered with a hundred bits. Thank you, Lawless. Hey, say I know a guy who is addicted to drinking brake fluid. I told him that he should stop before he does serious damage to his body, but he told me that he can stop at any time. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you very much. I should probably tweet that I'm live. You know what? I'm gonna do that. No, we are live. Chatting for a bit, then playing. Well, actually, I don't. I don't have a minute. Uh, playing Monster Camp soon. Come hang out for wooing them monsters. 
Uh, 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 uh. There we go. I did it. I have tweeted. I did it. <laughs> Hi, Mifa. Mifa's here. Mifa's on my knee. Mifa was uh, in in her room a lot today because she uh, because I had D and D, and I don't trust her to keep quiet during D and D. So I'm like, mm, no, you better you better go back. But I think she can hang out for a bit. Hi, Jay Sonic. Uh, question. I'm sorry if this is awkward. Are you and Brett going out? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, case in point, exclamation point, CC, let's go. <laughs> I must say, a girlfriend has been talking to me again for some time, though she recently got COVID. She has a special medication that's helping her, that's helping her though. Oh, I hope she feels better soon. I, ho I hope she feel that she feels much better. That sucks, but I'm glad- I'm glad that you guys are chatting, though. I'm sure your support will help her through and make her feel a lot better. Ah, thanks, Wolfman! <laughs> Mifa camp- I wish I could, but it's not working! I tried. I- I tried. I genuinely, actually tried my best to- to get it to actually work. But, uh, it- it hates- It, it hates, you know, <laughs> it hates it when I boot up OBS before I boot up the actual capture software for it. Yeah, I was talking in the group chat. I'm gonna say, how are you loving Kirby 64? It's good! I'm enjoying it. I'm ge I'm genuinely enjoying it a lot. Um, the only thing about it is that some of the shards are dumb. Not, not even in like the fun way, it's just like a pain. It's one of those things where it feels like it's going out of your- out of its way to force replay value. for the tip in the tip jar all my hugs and support to you my dude really appreciate you I hope things go well I think I think today's stream is gonna be pretty funny <laughs> Um, ex Devlin, I'm, I'm, Jory mentioned it in, uh, in his bit me message, but, uh, ex Devlin is a voice actress, so, um, I think we're gonna be doing silly voices today for all the characters, and I'm like, alright, it's time! <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, um, I, I'm, I'm intimidated a little bit. A little bit intimidated, but it'll be fun. She voiced in stuff like Card Fight Vanguard. Ooh, that's so cool. Ugh. Uh, pressure though. <laughs> pressure. I'm just make really stupid voices. If I if I make it if I make it stupid, then no one can judge me. It's fine. TRX 123 has cheer with 100 bits. Thank you. Hereupon, if I do go the content creation route, should I have playlists for them? Yeah, uh, playlists are helpful. Uh, that's how a lot of people will, like, you know, scroll through different episodes if you're going the episodic route. Uh, 
Uh, and Ninja Monkey 548 is cheered with 100 bits. Thank you. Hello, I just wanted to say thanks for all the games you've played. Found you through Chugga Conroy and have had a lot of fun and laughs on your channel since. Like with Link's Awakening, the Tales games, and more. So thank you for putting time into all of it to ensure it's entertaining. Oh, Ninja! Wait, that's really sweet! Thank you. Thank you so much. That means a lot. I, I really just want to make people smile and laugh and, you know, just have fun. A nice, chill, relaxing time. And to hear that it was able to do that for you at least a little bit makes me very happy. Thank you, Ninja. gonna go ahead and hop into the call now <laughs> oh no she's yelling at me <laughs> okay all right it's time to hop in the call uh i i think i think it's just gonna be me and ex devlin at first so let's go uh, i'm gonna go <laughs> me meeting new people <laughs> okay uh Guys, when I get in there, can you uh, help me with audio balancing too? Tell me how the audio is between like her and me and I'll adjust as we go. Hello? Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi! <laughs> Uh, going good. I was I popped in thinking it was only gonna be uh, X Evelyn and I was like hello and then you said hello and I was like oh <laughs> ah that's not the voice I was expecting. <laughs> yeah yeah hold on uh, I broke I broke my stream. Uh, no one can hear you. Hold on. How's okay, this no, chat? Cool. How's this chat? Hello. I unmuted. Hello, hello. Uh, do. Okay. Do okay. It, it should be. <laughs> I know, right? It's. Oh, it's broken for her. I see. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> I am just getting my stream set up. Okay. Hopefully. Yay. As random stuff is falling off my desk, and I don't know why. I have nothing in here. To... Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my desk is a disaster. It is an actual disaster right now. I have no room to like do anything or put anything anywhere and things are constantly falling off. Always. It's a rain of just like random garbage. You have the uh, additional excuse of you have a bird hopping around so that could cause a little bit of chaos as well. No, none of the stuff involves a bird. It's just like, <laughs> it's literally random garbage. Also, hey chat, how's it going? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get my stuff set up as well. And then hopefully we'll get the multi-stream set up as well. I I don't know what I'm doing. So this is, you know, this is all sometimes. I never know how to actually use that. Whenever, whenever multi-stream comes up, it's my mods that like take care of everything and I'm sitting here like, Oh, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello. My god. Oh. I somehow accidentally turned push to talk on. I am so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? Oh, I was no. like, everything works. My stream can hear me. You guys can't hear me. Why? Oh no. Well, you got it. You got it fixed. We're, we're, we are okay. Thank goodness. Okay, I started streaming, except I shouldn't have. Whoops! I mean, oh. that's okay. I, I'm i the only one who hasn't started streaming yet, so... No, it's okay. I meant to update my stream info before starting, so I didn't want to just, like, start... Yeah, that, that's exactly what I was doing title. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Great, where is it? Where is it? There we go. 
<laughs> I'll also, uh, Devlin, uh, before I hopped into the call, I was talking about how, like, I'm always skittish and nervous about meeting new people, but I was really excited to, like, get to know you and, like, chat with you and stuff. And then immediately after I said that, you're like, it auto ended because I was alone forever, forever. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. <laughs> Literally haven't even gotten into the call and I'm like, I'm gonna yell that, oh no. <laughs> That's definitely not serious yelling. <laughs> no, it's definitely I'm sure, not. I'm sure. It was just really funny timing. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I've I've known G for so long. Mm-hmm. Bit, bit sing. How long has it been? It's been over half of our lives. That's yeah, now it's it's me. by now it's definitely <laughs> been over half our lives. Amazing. <laughs> Yo. That's how we seen it. But yes, he definitely knows when I'm just kidding. Which is most of the time when when talking with other people like this. Oh totally. She she's just too much of a sweetheart to be mean about stuff like this. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Masaya, I was asked to ask you about 32. <sighs> so FYI, I'm gonna be mentioning this on stream. Just play it up like super hard. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> that's every no response idea. I could have hoped for. Yep. No idea that's, what's that's, going on. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. It's the that one. one. It is that one. one. Yep, it is. Okay, so uh, I should check the game and see if you guys are in here. Oh, yeah, you uh, do I have to like input the code? Yeah, you gotta... um, So there's a couple of things that we need to set up ahead of time. Um, okay. You will need to adjust your audio levels before so starting the multiplayer. Oh, oh my god, so much. Because yeah. Because I... <laughs> that is not adjustable in game. Oh, oh, that's wild. Okay. So once we start the multiplayer, the audio levels are set at whatever you set them at. Mm, gross. All right. Yeah. It's it caught me the first time because the first time I played this I was like, oh my god, this music's good, but holy cow, it's loud. What do I do? <laughs> well, that that's a that's a fantastic warning. Thank you. Sweet. Welcome. Well, I am Save actually trying balls. to adjust that right now, Save as well as tweet out. So I see this thing in settings called instinct mode. Do I have to like worry about that at all? I have that turned off. Okay. I don't know what it is. Okay, I, I also will keep it off. Uh, instinct mode will hide the success, fail, feedback from events, making a true narrative experience full of unexpected twists. Oh. That's what instinct mode is. Oh, interesting. So, with it on, we don't know if we succeed or fail. With it off, we'll get more immediate feedback of, oh no, you failed this, or yeah. you succeeded. Oh, I see, I see. So, I because I don't know anything, I don't think it's going to be a big deal if we have it on. Right, right, Probably right. Probably not. Okay. Like, I don't know this game super well. So This is my first time playing. <laughs> I'm just oh, going to leave yeah, instinct mode so on fun. off. Yeah, That I'll, way I'll I don't need to worry about that. Okay. Uh, there is the streamer mode thing, which just replaces the credit song with a safe to stream song. Right, yeah, I turned that on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where's my multi? Where did my multi command go? This is uh, my problem. I'm stri I'm split between stream elements and Wisebot, so I don't remember where everything is. Oh, it might be stream elements. I think it's stream elements. Yeah, it totally is. Multi. I am streaming with 80k and Masa. All right, chat. I'm gonna be uh, uh, turning on the is game your audio. The same as your Discord name, Masai. Yeah, it is. Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna be turning on the game audio, so if you guys could let me know how the da, 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 da. balancing is, okay, let's that'd be it out. super helpful. Are you already streaming? Uh, I maybe? am. Yeah, must oh, say is definitely streaming already. I oh yeah, I am. I am live. Good, what? good, good. Uh, I'm live, but on my starting screen, so nobody can hear us. Hear me? Hear us? They shouldn't be able to hear us. I'm on my... a starting screen as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
My son's stream can hear us though. <laughs> <laughs> yep, oh, they shit. they they be wildin'. Chat be wildin' already. Mm -hmm. I mean, chat is always wonderful. Always, <laughs> always. I mean, they're always wonderful to me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Squints at chat. Kind of sweet, oh God. They're, oh they're all God. wonderful to me and and yeah, wholesome. they are. They are. They're a wh wholesome bunch. Wholesome bunch. Please don't be too mean. Okay, how do how to do the uh, stream elements? And Jory is indeed a precious cinnamon roll. Hello, Jory. Jory do be. Dory B, a super sweet cinnamon roll. He do With be. Extra icing. Chat, how's these audio Sorry levels? Sorry for the slight scuff. It's just, you know, th this is my streams, as always. There, there's always some scuff. <laughs> uh, no, always any... some scuff. <laughs> it, it's not okay. a stream unless there is a little bit of scuff in it. Don't worry. It's fine. How's, uh, how's that, how are those settings going? <laughs> I am looking for my stream elements thing. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just adjust the multi. I, I multi! swear it's here somewhere. But also, the insane sound effects that I have on my channel, I need to like cull some of them. I have so many now. I've collected so many. <laughs> I've got a handful and that's all thanks to Brofar, right? So. Most of mine were from Spencer. So oh. as you can imagine, hello, Jory. Oh, and thank you for following this eye, you're sweetie. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, I think I found it. Commands. Okay, okay. No, this is good. I just need the multi. Oh, there. hello. Whoop. You know what? We're not ready for that yet. We're not ready for that. Uh, one Sorry, day Chad. I'll get my iPad working. One day. How are you doing, Jory? How's your week been? Where? Where is it? trying to set up this multi thing sorry i just also just like ended my work day and then immediately hopped over here so <laughs> <laughs> oh no i i'm uh definitely just just a tiny bit frazzled but for the most Aww. part good oh thank you so much all yeah, the new thanks. follows hello new friend team trusty gem Thank you so much for following. All right, all right. Uh, that should be good. Hey, Andromeda, how's it going? Andromeda's here. Hello. <gasps> hey, found it. Uh, are we using the Cadgar.net? Yeah, that's what uh, I was using. The what? Uh, okay. I was just gonna. Yeah, it worked. Uh, for multi. Uh. For multi. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. You're right, there are three chats at once, and I'm gonna have to try and keep up with all three of them. Hey, Jory, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Wolfman in the house, hello! Hello, hello. Thank you so much for following. And free drummer too! Oh my gosh, so many new friends tonight! The you actually have like normal, um, <laughs> normal follow alerts. I have Brofar. Oh, you do. It's no. true. He's... I did. I did not give Brofar the ability to give me a new follower alert. I I've given him <laughs> far too much power. So you have. You should rescind <laughs> some of that power. Uh, you it's... know you should. I probably should, but it's kind of fun having it like it is. <laughs> you just He just likes to like swoop in sometimes and just change settings in your stream out. Like, he has added random sound effects to my stream midstream. 
Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see if that works. Oh my golly! So many new friends tonight. All right, I see three chats. Oh my golly. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. I see I see all three chats. Um, this I'm... is this is going to be a wild time. This will work. This will oh work. shoot. Okay. I did Hold the on. thing where when you shake a window and it minimizes everything, and I'm upset. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm like, wait, though, that's not what I wanted. All right, so. Dude, did I ever show you my derp command? Uh, I don't think you did, and. Uh... My derp command, the hold. Hey. You got the multi-command on yours as well. I did. Oh, yes. Okay. Awesome. I am... Okay. I see Andrew, Nightblood is being trying. evil again. <laughs> I am trying. I am trying to keep up with all three chats. We will see if I am successful. Hello, Chef. There we Welcome go. Welcome to my chat. Can someone explain what 32 is? I forgot our lore. I don't know what 32 is. I don't think Masai is going to tell me either. I don't know what Masai is worried about. 32 doesn't <laughs> sound that, like that bad I of a number. I think that reaction says everything I, I needed it, to hear. It's, it's nothing bad. It's, it's nothing bad. It's just... <laughs> It literally a random number that got memed up for like two weeks and then it ended up being super benign but then after that the number 32 appeared in like literally everything and now I can't mm. escape it and I have people sending me the number 32 for everything and I'm just like <gasps> Malin! Hello Malin my dear how are you thank you so much for the raid Oh my gosh, you know who's got a lot of gold stars? Malin does, because Malin was playing Genshin right before coming in here. Alrighty, so who one of who out of us is going to create the game? Uh, I already did. You can join. One, two, three, not it. <laughs> I already <laughs> did. Um, I posted the code in chat. Uh, our chat. Sorry, I should did, I should specify. Did you? Yeah, it's in Discord. Did, did you press enter? I did. Scroll up. Oh, 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 there it is. Ah, there it is. Ha okay. ha. You got it. I was like, did, did you post it? Because I don't see a message after my message. It's just because it was before my message. <laughs> it was way back there. Don't worry yeah. about it. Okay. Are, are we doing voice effects or no voice effects? Um, what, what we can doing? leave voice effects on because they're usually just like, ha ha. Hey. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> stuff like that. It's it's gotcha. nice and cute okay. with, the, with the voice actors in there. But... Uh, but yeah, um, other than that, we should be good. I have to hide this yep. so that people whenever, don't see the whenever code. Whenever y'all join, you yeah. can get this um, uh, started. I'm, I'm just, let me just, uh, how do, how do I? Okay, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Oh, hi. <laughs> the guy's here. It has the ID working? to join literally right on the thing. Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's literally like right on there, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 it sure is. It sure is. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna start. You don't wanna hit your little happy face? Oh, oh. Uh -huh. yeah, definitely yeah. happy face hit. Yeah, all right, now uh, I can finally smile. start my stream. Okay, there okay. Because <laughs> I was like keeping the, I was keeping the game code from just being on screen. Okay, <laughs> uh. I know it says 70 minutes, but it's a total lie. It is not 70 minutes. Hello, Mo Kenny. Welcome in. Okay. Playing some more Monster Camp, your favorite. Uh, so we're going to go with a short game? Yes. All right. Sounds good. Short game 100%. It's, it's because misleading. it's a bunch of lies. <laughs> Does that Who kid have a knife? Uh, yeah, there's totally a kid with a knife in the background. Oh, no. Isn't there always? Oh. Also, Andromeda, uh, it's okay. Don't worry. It's all good. Ah, scamp, Camp Spooky, the stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Nancy, you'll have to continue, because you're the I'll only one who can progress. I'll have to continue? Okay. Uh, neither of us have the enter, enter button, so you, oh, do, you have it. I guess that's true. 
With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. Inebriate. I mean, inebriate. considering this is going to happen in this game, very appropriate word. Uh oh. <laughs> You're oh no. Right. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. Uh oh. Who are you? She's got the white streak. I have to have her, but I could also be her. I mean, if you're gonna go with the one that looks closest to you, then yeah, the white streak in your hair. White streak it is. Uh, I'm gonna go... Oh, her name is Vicky. Uh, I'm gonna name myself. What? And... What pick? are you gonna pack? What you what items random. are you gonna choose? Look, so I can just pack random things. You could. You click that, it'll just randomly select three of them for you. Magic mushrooms guide, sketchbook, sleeping beauty bag, wood carving machete, griffin. <laughs> oh no. Griffin <laughs> MC Griffin EP pocket pocket therapist. therapist? Oh, I sometimes oh, that's what you need. <laughs> Uh, Tard Grade Plushy. Okay. Oh, so cute. Also very cute. Uranium Lipstick. I thought that was going to be Nuclear Lipstick, but Uranium I mean, seems appropriate. That, uranium, that's pretty close, right? Uranium seems like a thing. I indeed, yes. Hmm. Okay. So what uh, will you choose? I don't know, honestly. Um... Follow your hearts. Follow your heart. Uh, gonna go with the pocket therapist. Always a solid choice. I could definitely right? use one of those sometimes. Right? <laughs> oh, I gotta turn you guys down on Discord a little bit. It's kind of loud on 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 the meter. Oh, well, thank you for following. I appreciate you. Um, Sleeping Beauty bag mm -hmm. and Griffin pasta. Nice, nice. Excellent. Yes, do it. All right, player two. This would be oh, Masse. Oh, yeah. uh, excuse me, but a fire hair? Hell yeah. Give me that fire hair. Uh, it's me. It's you, Masse. It's me. So you've oh, got different I have different items. things, except the tardigrade plushie is still there. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty awesome, so yeah, I understand. It's pretty good. So we have too many crosswords, 50 pounds of it, mind you. <laughs> Very yep. strong insect repellent. That seems... Uh -huh. No, there's a dead birdie! No, we're not picking that. <laughs> Hipster <It's really> costume. really <laughs> strong. Instant post camera. The smallest violin. The tiniest violin. It, 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 what? It's <laughs> oh so no! Tiny. It's the tiniest violin. Uh, oh, oh no! You, you have a kind of dragon heat. It's hmm. uh, pretty popular from what I hear. I see. Uh, marshmallows. Oh, I see because it's bones. Plushy <laughs> and uh, north-facing moss. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I think we all need a small violin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, north facing moss seems practical in case I get lost in the woods. Okay. Okay. Um, then that's all I need. Yeah. No. Yeah, totally. Hundred sure. percent. Totally. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Best choices. Mm hmm. But only uh -huh. two things. I I pick uh -huh. two items, not a third. As much as I feel like this guy sometimes, I'm pretty sure I epitomize this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Team Trusty Gem, thank you so much for the 35 the months of resub. I appreciate it. And Green Draco 3 thank you for the so three So I got the insect months. repellent, uh -huh. but I also have a totally fine ukulele. Uh, I'm totally not done fine. with uh, Legends Absolutely Arceus. Fine. Not haunted One of these days I'll go back. No, not possessed in any way, shape, or form. Nope, not at all. We got Scott Snacks. Magic Mirror. Hmm. 
Could use that from time to time. A multi-tool. Yo, a that's multi -tool. practical as heck. Look, it, it's got like a thorny tentacle in it and everything. Oh my god. You know god. what, I'm just gonna take that just cause. <laughs> <laughs> because it's got thorny tentacles. I mean, that wasn't the reason, not at all. Nope, not at all. <laughs> is absolutely not the reason. There's, hey. there's, there's a spork. Sudoku Rubik Cube. Oh. That sounds insane. That sounds like pain. That yeah. also sounds like it could be fun, though. Like, in a bit of a masochistic way? A little bit. You'd figure it out eventually if you get lost in the woods and you have nothing else to do. <laughs> sure. Business. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, huh. Just huh. business. It's, it's business it's, time. It's delicate business. I see. And uh, a fake noble title. It says That's... it's totally legit. Wow, you know... I wouldn't mind a fake noble title. I'm gonna with my multi tool. I'm gonna I'm gonna need something for some music. So I, I gotta take, I gotta take the instrument. Cool, cool. And uh, I don't think I need the spork because I think that would go with the multi tool. Um, I'm just gonna maybe. Uh, yep. No, nope, nothing happened. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that's that's gonna happen. All right. You know, just some, mm -hmm. sometimes. See. One might say that the monster prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of life. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners. And summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. Close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just two weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson Jojima, 23, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Why is she 23 and in high school? Uh, this she is, failed this a is lot. At the end. This is at the end of high school. She, she I don't know. She <laughs> failed a few she, times. It's fine. Don't judge. Bit. Okay, that's fair. Oh, also, Jory has redeemed Luscious voice. So hold on a second while I set a five minute timer. You guys get to listen to that voice. Oh, <gasps> nice. This, this uh, is gonna be interesting. Uh, okay. Five minutes. Aravi Mishra, 22. A hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. She's also 22 and in high school still. I have concerns. <laughs> Calculester Hewlett Packard. V1.1, a library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. I love it. Dahlia Aquino, 20, a buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. I love her. Mm hmm. I knew I you love would. Her scars, they're beautiful. Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. I somehow always get paired up with him. Somehow. <laughs> hmm. And Milo Belladonna, 23, a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer and who was profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. The bus trip was long, and all of summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. And so it was clear. It all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Time to break the ice. Which book would you take to a deserted island? And you know what? A point was brought up by uh, Zenitarius? That uh, maybe monsters age differently, because they all are roughly around the same age, just higher end than normal high school. So, you know what? Maybe monster high school goes a little bit later. You're right. You're also, right. You know what? Also entirely possible. That's true. 
I didn't think of that. Good one. Good one, Zenitarius. Guide for speedrunning life. That seems like a terribly topical moment, doesn't it? Mm. Since we're talking about them being 20-something and in high school. <laughs> <laughs> the little very angry prince. My microwave manual. Hmm, technical. Famous last words. Interview with the very sexy vampire. And the art of war. Hmm. I mean, with this current voice? <laughs> the voice has dictated that I must be getting the interview with the very sexy vampire. All right, all right. Rakura's Kitty has pointed out that they are suspiciously all over 18 for entirely lore reasons. Absolutely, mm. just lore. Don't question. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with the the very li the little very angry prince. Ooh, I loved that book. I'm a sucker for a sexy blood sucker. What did you think about the very sexy vampire's turbulent childhood, Dublin? The story about his father's death made me cry. Okay, fine. I'm lying. I mostly paid attention to the photography in the book. But I promise, it was purely to study the photographer's craft, and not because I was entranced by the <laughs> uh -huh. subjects. Rippling okay. abs. Rippling okay. abs. Blood sure, stuff. girl. <laughs> you do you. Sure, girl. I brought that book to camp, actually. You want to peruse it with me for the rest of the drive? Ooh, I like her. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, girl. Are you yeah. gonna do your voice now? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice! I love the art of war! <laughs> so, so, knew that what was up! Nice. I've skimmed his book dozens of times. I usually skip the art stuff and read straight to the war. You've read the whole thing, haven't you, Musse? Maybe you can tell me what I've been missing from the artsy fartsy parts. Cool! Damien! <laughs> Again. I should have expected it. I you should have. Yeah. But 100%. It's, it's there. <laughs> 100%. Oh, cool! The Little Very Angry Prince was my favorite book growing up. What's your favorite part? I like the bit where the Little Very Angry Prince met the six annoying adults and beat them all to death with a snake! Oh. I never had you pegged as a little very angry prince fan, G. This summer's gonna be rad. Oh boy. We only had two weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Oh baby! Alright, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Okay, uh... So each of these gives you a different stat upgrade. I remember that. Mm. Okay. So that should be similar to the first Monster Prom game. Okay. Um. Well, we don't know what each one of these does, and we also don't know what each of our characters want us to have. It's true, very true. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say this one's probably smart. This one's probably... Well, it's Camp Dome. That's gonna be Can you muscle. Right click by any chance? No. Hmm. I'd think oh, boldness for Camp Dome. Probably, and then the lake is fun? That's gotta be fun. Uh. Scout HQ. Scout HQ yeah. probably smarts? Probably. I feel like I wanna go for charm. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know which one uh, which one Joy wants me to have more of, I guess. Uh, let's go to the manor and see what's up. Ooh. While exploring the haunted manor, you find an enchanted skull who speaks in riddles. Oh, good, my favorite. His voice makes your ears bleed. No, not my favorite. No, do <laughs> not want. <laughs> you decide to name him Sparky and put him on your keychain as a fun pet. Why would you keep him around? <laughs> He's a fun pet. He tells you all sorts of cool things, like, beware the tides of Venus, 
And if you meet a guy named Lenny at Costco, don't give him $20. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. The tides of Venus? Like, okay, maybe if we're talking like retrograde stuff, but a guy specifically named Lenny at Costco. Hey, maybe you got ripped off with Lenny before, so he's just giving you a heads up and a warning. The skull maybe. be knowing oh. things. The sc Tukes skull's looking out for you. Uh, Tooks, if you want to hit up the multi uh, command, you can go watch all of us streaming the same thing. Sparky also tells you exactly when and how you'll die. Apparently, it's gonna involve a lot of mozzarella sticks. Oh. You gain plus two boldness for gaining that foresight. Oh, okay then. Boldness. Matza sticks. Uh, there are probably worse ways to die. Mmm, cheesy to good goodness. You're wandering aimlessly around the camp looking for joy for a very important reason. Ooh <laughs> Completely <laughs> unrelated to wanting to smooch her cute face when suddenly... <gasps> Devlin, there you are. I've been wandering around camp looking for you for a very important reason. Oh, you know what that means. The world is, at risk the world is going to end. Oh, huh. Guess you didn't know what that meant. There's an asteroid headed right for us, and if we don't complete this incredibly complex and epic ritual to alter its path, this could be the end for the whole planet. You dive in to help. Things start well. You burn a pentagram onto the ground, find and place the ten turtle guardians, and hang strands of garlic from every third sycamore tree. By the time you reach the step where you have to get the entire camp to run around in circles shrieking and wailing, which they do with great enthusiasm, it seems like nothing can get in your way. Oh. Hi. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Mm. No. G. G. You gotta read this one. Mm, how? How do I voice the spider lady? I don't know. Hmm. That or you can give me a suggestion. Oh my god, Spider Lady. I was just thinking like Oh. Unfortunately I was thinking Car like a like an old lady Karen. Yeah, no, exactly. No, 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 no. That old lady Karen. <laughs> yep. I was um, like Karen, but you know, a little bit different. Old Lady Karen works. Old Lady Karen, go for it. I I don't know how to do a Karen voice. <laughs> I can do old lady voice, but I can't do a Karen voice. She doesn't seem like a Karen. She seems more like a... Alright, I'm just gonna do an old lady voice the best I can. Do it, do it, do it. A librarian. <laughs> what is all this unsanctioned running and screaming? There's a strict sanctioned running and screaming only policy at Camp Spooky. Stop these shenanigans at once! But Camp Director, Miss Weaving, we're performing a magic ritual to save the world from... If you wanted to do magic to save the world, you should have done that earlier in the day, when I gave everyone a do magic to save the world break! <laughs> but I didn't need to do magic to save the world then. I need to do magic to save the world now. Young lady, I'm so sick and tired of your generation using magic to solve all your problems. In fact, I'm going to confiscate your magic so you learn how to cope without it! That's ridiculous. Magic isn't a thing. You can just... Wait, what the fuck? Where did my magic go? Why can't I feel my magic? Oh my goddess, she did it. Camp Director Ms. Weaving took away my magic! How are we going to save the world from this asteroid? That's an easy one. You know all about stopping asteroids without using magic. All you have to do is betray your usually inclusive nature by passing strict legislature forbidden forbidding the immigration of asteroids to Oh my god, no! Oh my god. <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> Treat the cause, not the symptom. Cancel the Ricky Martin concert that the asteroid is undoubtedly coming to Earth to obtain. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah. Insanity. I love it. This oh. game gets a little weird. <laughs> oh, that's insanity, but I love both of them. Which one should I choose? I... Uh, I honestly it, it, don't know. It's up to you. It is um, up to you. Um... Uh... That one. Not so fun. Oh, oh. no! Unfortunate. Of course! I knew there had to be some huge and definitely still culturally relevant event that I could totally be going to if I weren't at camp. 
I hate to get in the way of great art, but if we don't stop people from hearing Ricky Martin sing tonight, no one will ever hear Ricky Martin sing again. And he's not one of those singers who only sounds good on the radio with autotune. I mean, he was Che in the Evita revival, for goodness sake. Yes, you think to yourself, the 2012 Alina Rogers revival of Evita, featuring Tony winner Michael Cerveris in the bit part of Juan Peron, is in fact the most people know icon. Ricky Martin. Uh, of course, that's exactly where everybody knows of Ricky Martin Of course it from. is. The two of you rush over to the concert venue, which is conveniently near the geographically ambiguous location of Camp Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> where is it? Uh, it's there-ish. <laughs> around there. Without Joy's magic, you're forced to use your boldness, smarts, charm, uniqueness, nerve, and talent to work your way backstage past security. Between the two of you, plus Valerie items in your pocket left over from the school year, you're able to do it, and before long, you're in Ricky Martin's dressing room. Mr. Martin, you need to cancel tonight's performance, lest we all end up living no Vita of any kind whatsoever, much less loca. A huge asteroid is coming to your concert. Yes, obviously, it says peerless musician <laughs> Ricky Martin, <laughs> visibly annoyed. Oh it my wrote, god. It wrote, saying it was literally my biggest fan and asked for VIP passes, which I happily gave. What? Why? Because I'm Ricky goddamn Martin, that's why. You think it's every day that a giant rock from outer space wants to attend a concert? You think this shit happens to Miley Cyrus? <laughs> wow! Whoa! Dang! Wow! much shade no this is happening to me ricky martin a singer of the spanish version of i can go the distance on disney's hercules vhs from the mid 90s surrounded by fire and rock that is how i plan on going out surrounded by fire and rock but you're taking the rest of the world with you What's the worst? What's worse? A world with a cancelled Ricky Martin concert, disappointing hundreds of fans, or no world at all? Obviously the second one! <laughs> and when you see me perform out there, I think you'll see exactly why. Joy doesn't, but somehow you do? Ricky Martin is so captivating that before long you hear yourself begging Joy not to stop the concert, telling her to let the world end. Oh no. Oh my Can't god. Help it. You hear how absurd you sound, but it's like an out-of-body experience. You have only one thought. Must. Keep. Ricky. Martin. Singing! That sounds like hypnosis. You, you got mind control there. Apparently. This is some Borderlands level of humor. Thank you, Jory, for recognizing that. Luckily, <laughs> the ozone layer reduces the asteroid to the size of a potato, which lands on your foot, so no one but your foot is hurt. This counts as defeating the asteroid through mundane means, so camp director Miss Weaving restores Joy's magic to her. <laughs> what she doesn't restore to Joy is her being on speaking terms with you, Niss. Oh no! Joy is super pissed you let yourself be hypnotized by Ricky Martin and almost let the world end. You lose two fun and a boldness. Oh, oh no! That sucks! No! Oh, Mage, you're right. Ricky Martin is a male siren, duh. <laughs> <laughs> He is a male siren indeed. I'm gonna and go here. And apparently asteroids can read. That day you join the merciless trials of the camp, uh, of the camp dome. Your team is faced with a potato sack race. It seems easy, but this is the camp dome. And so the potato sacks are filled with swarms of bees? Hum? <laughs> bees. What? Oh no. Okay. Just cause. <laughs> Your teammates are discouraged, both because they are not fond of bees and because the enemy team is mostly comprised, comprised by sentient bees. Aren't all bees sentient anyway? Giving them a clear advantage over you. It looks, it all looks dire for you, but you, you use your cunning and remind the enemy team that the bee population of Earth is inexplicably decreasing and bees are heading towards uh, unavoidable extinction. This fact really messes with the enemy team's heads, giving you the edge you need to win. Your nasty leadership skills grant you plus two charm. Hooray! Nice. Hell yeah! There, there's nothing uh, you like more than being helpful, providing, uh, provided it is in turn helping you find your, sum, uh, your summer honey, so it's no surprise you find yourself of, uh, aiding Dahlia in the collection of another scout badge. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love her. Sorry. She's just, I love her so much. She gets uh, so much better the more you muscular. get to interact with her. <laughs> All right, Must Mustang. Just violated those bees. <laughs> oh. oh no. <clears throat> Hold the megaphone right there so I can scream into it and still have my hands free for powerful gestures. Let me know if you have any tips for being louder. I really want this badge. Deep breath and... Since the 1950s, around 8.3 billion tons of plastic have been produced worldwide and only 9% are recycled. Plastic kills millions of birds and animals a year, while poor air quality is a huge contributor to the human fatalities. By the year 2050, the amount of plastic in the ocean will outweigh the total number of fish. Oh my god, why is she back? <laughs> yes! Bless. Miss Aquino, why are you interrupting this lovely day at Camp Spooky with your incessant <laughs> screaming this time? Oh, Camp Director Miss Weaving, I am absolutely engaged in the camp sanctioned pursuit of scout badges! Today I'm trying to get the badge for noise pollution, so I'm screaming facts about pollution as loudly as I can. Oh my gosh. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh my damn. Miss Aquino, the noise itself is the pollution. You don't need to be making noise about pollution. <laughs> All you've succeeded in doing now is distracting and depressing the camp population when they should be doing fun things like manual labor. Camp Director Miss Weaving, I'm so sorry. I, n I would never intentionally upset you. As a strong female leader who is intimidating and scary, you're a role model of mine. Hmm. Well, Miss Aquino, I do respect your respect for me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that to someone at some point. <laughs> that's that's, that's actually pretty clever. <laughs> Which is why I'm going to confiscate the thing you crave most. My approval! Ooh, oh, that's some no. uh, That's some parenting talk right there. <laughs> no! Please! Take my phone! Take my face! Take anything! Just don't take your approval! Too late. It's been confiscated. You may have it back when you have earned it. Oh no! What will I do? I can't bear to be at Camp Spooky if I can't have the respect of a terrifying female authority figure. If Dahlia leaves summer camp, she leaves behind her possibility to be your summer honey. Luckily, you know the best way to gain Miss uh, Weaving's approval. Oh god. Oh no! Oh no! Oh what? Oh no! <laughs> what? Show what? your admiration <laughs> by developing some spider-like skills. Knit a sweater with your butt. All right. Or that's become something. a doctor. <laughs> I, I I already know what I must do. I know what I must do. So creative. <laughs> oh! Ho, ho. The only monster I know with more powerful booty than mine is Polly since she threw that ass in a circle until she reached glute heaven. Can you be my assistant, Massey? Just take the yarn and needles and put them between my muscular buttocks. Yes. Oh my. You do. Yes. It's kind of weird, but kind of erotic. Erotic in that you're close to touching Dahlia's butt. Weird in, the f <laughs> weird in that it's because you're helping her knit with it. Camp Director Miss Weaving, check this out! Hmm, I'm concerned, to say the least, Miss Aquino. But soon all her concerns are assaged as Dahlia begins to ass knit with all the power and grace of Olympic figure skater Yuzuru Hanyu. Oh my god. <laughs> Dahlia grabs you to steady herself as she picks up speed, and once again, you're into it because Dahlia's touching you while doing butt stuff. But yeah, it's still weird. I, I, yep. I just... So weird. Finally, Dahlia finishes and hands camp director Miss Weaving a stunning sweater emblazoned with the words, Forgive me, senpai. 
Oh my god. Please, Camp Director Miss Weaving, give me back your approval. I've been so lost without it my whole life ever, uh, ever since you confiscated it ten minutes ago. <laughs> I promise to never misinterpret that one specific instruction ever again! And the next time I mess up, it'll be something completely different! Miss Aquino, I must confess, I'm floored by the beautiful work you have done here today, and by this finely crafted apparel. You should be very proud of what you've made today. I know I am. Oh boy! <laughs> gonna be a threesome <gasps> you mean you're giving me your approval back you've earned it i look forward to your inevitable next screw up perhaps then i'll get a tea cozy yes must say we did it how can i ever thank you oh i know come close to me closer and put those needles back in my butt so i can knit you a sweater too oh <laughs> Oh my. She does, and it's the best butt-knit sweater you've ever owned. It even has a heart on it, which you definitely plan on reading too much into. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Amazing. Oh. So, Masay, did you expect th to go this way today? Nope. I, <laughs> no. I didn't expect to go this way today. Amazing. And I've played this game once before. I, I'm, I'm very excited about my new button knit sweater. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It even has a heart on it. This game gets wild. Button and, knit uh... heart. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm in love, you guys. I'm, I just, my heart go doki doki. <laughs> I've, I've seen, I've, I've seen a heart shaped butt making a heart shaped sweater. Oh button knit my. sweaters, yo. Oh <laughs> my. Button knit sweaters. Button knit sweaters. Button knit sweaters. Um, let's let's see where where can we go here? Woods Lake or Scout HQ? Um, Lake is fun. Yes. Scout HQ would be creativity. Or woods. You know what? Let's go to the woods. Yeah! Look at those squirrels. They're adorable. I'm glad they're not eating you. While you're hiking through the woods, you find a little you find a little clearing with a beautiful blue pond. Mm. There's a very handsome man staring deeply into the pond. He's talking to his reflection like it's another person. A person he really wants to fuck. What? Mm. What? You swipe his wallet. While he's not looking, and find out his name is Narcissus. He is not an organ donor, asshole. <laughs> and he's one punch away from getting a free smart water at 7-Eleven. Oh my god. Well, he's definitely not going to be using that anytime soon. You head to the gas station and gain plus two smarts from your smart water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You meet up with Damien to help him with... What he claims is a charitable endeavor. Yo. Oh my god. I believe that all living creatures, great and small, deserve a fighting chance at life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's why I've been making these tiny magnifying glasses to give to ants. Oh? Now they can fight fire with fire if anyone ever tries to use a magnifying glass to fuck with them. I've brought them the gift of flame. Like Aunt Prometheus! Oh my Amazing. god. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, double duty! I'm I'm so glad you're doing your old lady voice for her. <laughs> and you know what happened to Prometheus, don't you? <laughs> yeah! He was worshipped as a hero and the inventor of the greatest of all art forms, arson! Oh my god. No, he was chained to a rock. In a sexy way? <laughs> no, in a horrifying torture where his liver was eaten every day way. But I assure you, your punishment will be much worse. What? Why? Camp Director? Camp Director Miss Weaving? 
I feel like I'm actually being reasonably good compared to my classic bad boy antics. I don't know what sort of behavior is tolerated at Spooky High, but this is Camp Spooky, and I'm going to hold you to my standards. You think it's an accomplishment to tone down the arson while encouraging it in ants? No, 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 Mr. LaVey. You may be in high school, but at the end of the day, you are li you're literally a legal adult, and it's time for you to face consequences for your actions. Call them. What is happening here? <laughs> but that isn't what my face is made for. It doesn't want to face responsibilities. It wants to face shenanigans and knife crime and being oh. a badass. <laughs> <laughs> He's blushing too. <laughs> oh <my laughs> well, until your face learns to behave, I'm afraid I'm going to have to confiscate it from you. Wait, what? Wait, what? Excuse me? Why? How do you what? Uh, Miss Weaving, how are you? How are you? <laughs> you can't do that. In fact, I'd like to see you try. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Oh, my God. His face oh is gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's gone you know when dahlia was like please take my face instead i thought it was just like a bit a you joke? know mm -hmm. now we know miss weaving can actually just steal your face oh my god uh, yeah mm. have a nice day miss lavey mr lavey i hope you learn a valuable lesson about what faces are for my face ah, what the fuck what the fuck how, how did she do that how, how am i talking i don't have my mouth ah! <laughs> So, Damien is understandably freaking out, but with no way to get his face back, the best way to come to his rescue is to convince him that this is a good thing. Wait, Miss Weaving is Ko from Avatar, right? Miss Weaving, we don't know the extent of her powers. Apparently. <laughs> she, can, she can take away magic uh, without trying. Um, her approval is very valuable, and she can steal your face at the drop of a dime. Right? What the heck? She's a deity. You know what the best poker face is? No face! <laughs> Become a pro <laughs> poker player and make a fortune. No more face, no more dentist! Also true. That is true. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with a poker route. Let's see what happens. Do it. Make some money! Oh, oh not the fun. That's not a bad idea! I'm pretty sure Miss Weaving put underground poker rings on her list of forbidden activities. What is she gonna do? Take away my face? Already happened, baby! <laughs> with the gusto of someone with nothing left to lose, at least in terms of facial features, Damien sets up his illegal high-stakes poker tournament on the campground. Before long, an intense crowd of poker sharks, many of whom are also actual sharks, have assembled to try to take Damien's hard-earned stolen riches off him. Wow. You instantly run into a problem. With no eyes, Damien is unable to see the cards. I didn't Damn think it. this through. Uh, no. That's, you know what? That's true. I just figured he could still see because he could still talk. Apparently, that's a problem. <laughs> You're confused as to why this matters since he can still speak with no mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yup. That, that's, yup. But things sure are wacky at Camp Spooky, and you're still not entirely sure how Miss Weaving confiscated his features in the first place. So you go with it. Sure. Every time it's Damien's turn, you look over his shoulder and let him know what cards he's not looking at. Um. The problem is you're so excited to be this close to Damien that you that you're completely unable to control your volume, and you keep shouting his cards at the top of your lungs. Oh my oh, god. No. <laughs> Gee, I am... no. It's I just Baby, got too close. Ten of hearts. Gee. Ten of hearts. I just got too close. It got too steamy. No. What's all this ruckus? This disturbance was not this disturbance will not be tolerated. It sounds as if someone is unable to control their volume and is therefore shouting at the top of their lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
What are all these sharks doing breathing out of water? And seated at a card table. Mr. LaVey, are you holding an illegal high-stakes poker tournament with, with aquatic life? <laughs> well, I was. But now that you're here to shut it down, I guess it's all over and everyone needs to leave even if they haven't been paid yet. Too bad! Looks like I got caught! No, but it looks like to me... As someone with six more eyes than you have. Hmm, she does have six more eyes. No, she does, actually. <laughs> He's not wrong. Is that you don't particularly care about losing your face one way or another. But you do seem pretty distraught about having to give all your money away to these sharks whom you, sir, invited in the first place. As such, I am now restoring you the use of your face. And you'll restore all these nice monsters the use of your money. Which they rightfully, albeit illegally, won! Oh, I G! No! I lost all my money! And I have the stupid face back! <laughs> how will I ever get all... How will I ever get it all back playing poker with so many dumb facial features? Oh my gosh, oh, no! Oh no, G! Oh no. Who is... I have no idea who this is. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Somebody needs to voice Guitar Hero Kangaroo. Uh, okay, Damien, I can, uh, oh. gambling will always lead you into disgrace. <laughs> Believe me, I'm Tubular Eddie, the anti-gambling aardvark. What? <laughs> oh. What am I reading? What is this? This is worse than going to a cold read. The only safe bet is to bet all your money on the fact that gambling is no good. Oh no. <laughs> no shit, Eddie! I could've used that <laughs> advice like two hours ago! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what, am, what is happening? Sadness for me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And yeah, Ogremar, this is this is the madness that's going on. And yeah, we have Masay and uh, X Devlin, also Nan Hello. also known as Nancy. Hi, Ogremar. If you want to watch all of us, mm, thank you for the hydrate. We do this, multi. Ooh, and a hydrate goes out. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Andromeda. I'll take a sip of my tea to hydrate in spirit, but I don't have a hydrate command. It's okay. You can share ours. Mm. <laughs> I took a sip. I have a hydrate and a stretch command, <clears throat> which both are being done. <clears throat> yes, I shall stretch also. <clears throat> it's oh, okay, no. man. Any lesson is a good lesson. Focus on the positives. Anyway, I'm off to join some friends. We're gonna practice skateboard tricks and do drugs. Wait, you what? You want to join? What am I <laughs> reading? What am I reading? <laughs> Why? Well, Mage, I'll do that in a second. <laughs> you drugs? Aren't you like a PSA art mark or something? An Annie gambling PSA art mark. No one said anything about doing drugs, man. It's radical. <laughs> oh my god! What am I reading? Mystery Master, saying? thank you for gifting I'm six months to think you are not a good influence. It's super sweet of you, dude. <laughs> Only starting? You <laughs> betcha. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. The aardvark disappears with a radical guitar riff. Oh my gosh. Amazing. All I can say to that is... Ara, ara. <laughs> Eddie's ambiguous ethics severely damage the fabric of your moral compass, and you lose two smarts and one creativity from the wound. Not radical. Oof. Hi, Cloud Sleeper. Oof. He and I are off to a rough Yep, yep. Um, this is my first time playing. Let's okay. Welcome to the stream. It's Everybody okay. choose a celebrity. Say your choice out loud to the other players before you click. What? Uh, okay. Uh, um. Natalie Portman. Okay. Okay. Uh, um. Ah. Um. Uh. Uh. 
uh, sorry, blank oh, it's brain. A, it's okay. Yeah, um, giving you the chance. Uh, you go first, G. G give me that extra five seconds. Sure, not a problem, Keanu. Ooh, good one. Oh, that was a good one. Um, what? 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 What's Harry Potter's name? Uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Him. That one. That's the one. Done. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've all given the celebrity names. <sighs> Player order is decided based on which celebrity is the most likely to be a diehard fan of a much smaller celebrity in a very sincere and wholesome way. It's Keanu, hundred percent. Keanu. <laughs> Keanu, hundred percent. So Keanu's first, but then who's second between Daniel Radcliffe and Portman? Natalie Portman. Uh, I don't know. They're both kind of wholesome. Yeah, they yeah. are. Honestly, all three of them are really wholesome, but Keanu's like that next level wholesome. Yeah, yeah. Keanu's definitely Keanu, next like, level. With hands down. Hands down. 100%. Um, I don't know. From what I've heard, I think Daniel Radcliffe is actually kind of like a big softy as well. Natalie Portman is super into like um, philanthropy. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go with hmm. Daniel Radcliffe just because, you know. We could also random the last two, huh? I don't know if we can. I think if we hit random, it randoms. Oh, it'll do relax. all of them? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. That's what it ends up doing. Gotcha, yep. gotcha. But yeah. We can, we can give it to Daniel for this time and then. Because they're both really close. Yeah, it's super close. So let's right. give it to Danny Boy. <clears throat> let's do it. Week one evening. Alrighty. So, oof, oof, I took a I took a hit there. So did I. <laughs> Not quite um, um PSA Ardvark level hit though. Yeah, that, that kind of hurt. I mean, I could go get some more fun. I feel That's like you're not you're... really guaranteed to get fun, are you? Because I, I went to the uh, camp don't ex expecting boldness and I got charm. Okay, okay. So apparently the, the dome is charm. The lake is fun. The manor is boldness. Um, Scout HQ is probably... Intelligence or the woods is intelligence? I... Yeah, mm. You know, the woods is smarts, because that's where I got the, the smart water. So, oh. Oh, that's so creativity true. would be Scout HQ. Oh yeah. Okay. I guess that um, makes sense. You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some boldness from the manor. Ooh, I got a cool ghost buddy. That day in the haunted manor, you accidentally stumble upon a cult meeting in the hallway. Fun. The cultists are wearing terrifying black robes, standing over a bloodied body enchanting you try to flee but one of them shoves a flyer in your hand the ink burns your eyes to read but you manage to find the words new recruits get healthcare benefits with same day sign up wow <laughs> sign me up healthcare what sold you get a bunch of new cultist buddies and your new insurance covers spontaneous plus two boldness Amazing. growth cool Damn. History Master, thank you for 500 bits, dude! Yo, this game rules. It's Damien a lot of fun so far. You and are lounging together, having a surprisingly chill time reading comic books. Mm -hmm. It's gonna sound crazy, but can you pass me that one that doesn't have someone putting his fist through someone else, else on the cover? Loser. Both of you are involved now. Get in here! Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, what's this now? You're gonna read actual words that might describe something other than punching? Ha! Ah. What? No, who said that? I was just asking for the one without someone punching so I could eat it, obviously. Uh-huh, right. What did I say, Dahlia? I told you he's getting soft. <laughs> but not so soft that you won't still come and sand strangling and ocean kicking with us tonight, right? My biceps are ready to choke that sand right out. <laughs> and I got special <laughs> boots made with spikes on the bottom and the sides and the top so I can really show those waves who's boss. 
It's very spiky shoes you have there. <laughs> yep, I love her. Uh, well, that does sound great, but... Hmm. But? Speaking of the ocean, I was actually going to go watch this documentary on dolphins tonight. I'm making popcorn and baking dolphin-shaped cookies. If you want to join... Wow, you've changed, Damien. It's no wonder the wildfire hasn't yeah. appeared to you yet. Oh, no. What? What do you mean? I know you've been on the hunt for the elusive wildfire. I know it's thus far eluded you. And I also know why. You are unworthy. The wildfire only appears to those who are badass enough to be worthy of its unbridled glory and untamed majesty. Oh, no. <laughs> it's true. I was just in the woods one day playing with matches, and suddenly out of nowhere, the wildfire just appeared. Oh, no. It was one of the most magical moments of my life. There's nothing like seeing a wildfire out in its natural habitat. <laughs> Too bad you'll never see it. Face it, Damien. You're just not metal anymore. Not metal? Not metal? I'll show them who's not metal, or I'll show them who is metal! It's me! I'm still metal! Did not approve it by becoming worthy of the wildfire! But how? Hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. First choice, skateboarding trick. Nice. Escaping from a tank of water while chained and on a skateboard. Uh-oh. Or write a poem, but a poem that's very metal. Oh. Uh-oh. I mean... <laughs> I don't want to mess this up again. <laughs> History Master, thank you for the 500 bits. Miss oh, loves muscular girls Because I'm thinking confirmed. about this, right? Hell yeah. This seems very bold. This, this, this would be a very bold action, right? That's, that is a very bold action. I would think, but that's what I thought with the previous one. That's and when true. I tried that, it was you like, might drown. no, that was fun. <laughs> you might die. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You might, you might pull a Scott Pilgrim there. Hmm. Oh my God. And poor Damien too. He's like super soft boy right now as well. Yes. He just, he just wants to like hang out and like not Big be cookies. super destructive. Big, Big cookies. cookies. This is like a, 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 a thing for him that he's evolved. Okay. I'm not gonna go with this one just in, just in case it's fun again and like I don't want to do the f like lose on that again. <laughs> Maybe do you know what this fits his character? I'm gonna do the poem thing. Makes sense, right? Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Of course, nothing's more beautiful and poetic than the raging of the wildfire. So obviously a poem would attract it. But there's so many different kinds of poems: sonnets, haikus. E elegies? Elegies? Okay. Okay. So what's the most metal variation of the most metal art form? Oh! An acrostic spelling? Yeah, an acrostic spelling, the word metal. Can't get any more metal than that, literally, unless I pack a chock full of metal things. <laughs> Damien contemplates his literary ma his literary masterpiece for about 12 seconds before reciting it, reciting to you his finished work. Oh, golly, here we go. M is for metal. So for me, uh, E is for everything spicy I eat. Oh, I love uh, him so much. Oh, Damien. Oh. <laughs> you sweet boy, you. E is for the terror I inflict in on the masses. Ace with a kick, which is everyone's asses. He even rhymes, it's perfect. I love him though. L is for the last letter in metal and also for longest, which is how I describe my di Oh. Uh, were you about to end a poem with a dick joke? How not in metal? Um, no. <laughs> sure, Red Rocket. Anyway, it's not like poetry can't be badass. It's just yours that sucks. Ah, oh, Ravi! Melt this demon's motherfucking face off! 
Aravi and Hex don't try to own us. Spitting critical rhymes with a plus ten bonus. <laughs> my name, my name is Dahlia, and I've got nine picks. Call Damn. me <laughs> Newton. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, this is so good! <laughs> <laughs> this is poetry, y'all! This is no. poetry! The most beautiful poetry. Ooh, who wants to read that thing? Hell yeah! Now that's poetry, baby! I love it! Nice! I don't know. Felt like it lacked a deep thematic resonance and emotional maturity of my poem. But whatever. <laughs> We're like masters of survival. Thanks for having my back, G. We'll lure that wildfire out yet. Maybe next time we do a tag team poem like they did, but with themes. Oh yeah, Damien said he wants to team up with you. We'd love to see it. And you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun nice. on the spot. Mm. Good stuff, good stuff. Wow. Hell yeah. All right. What am I doing? Uh, uh, uh. I could do... That's probably... What do we say that the HQ probably is? Uh, that one's probably... Creativity. Creativity, right? Okay. Yeah. The uh, woods is I'll smart. I'll go for fun. Oh. Ooh. Oh, hi. Okay. That day you go diving to see what's at the bottom of the lake. You find a comic book. You pick you pick it up, but it's so interesting that you stay there reading it. And this is bad since you cannot hold your breath indefinitely. <laughs> you rush to the surface, but before getting there, you drown a little and some lake water gets into your mouth. Gross. You swallow some weird stuff that was in the lake water, like a whole jellyfish and Ew. plus two fun? What was that doing there? Gross. Ew! That's an entire jellyfish. <laughs> uh, you meet up with Calculester and Dahlia to help them objectively calculate how best Dahlia's summer is, is so far. Let's see, your meaningful camp experiences quotient is slightly above the mean compared to last year's results. Smile. <laughs> Your ratio <laughs> of time and nature to important realizations about life and society is about average. Also, your watts of solar radiation absorbed per square meter of skin is off the charts. Ha-ha! Excellent! No, that last one is actually not excellent. It means you are at severely elevated risk of skin cancer. You should wear more sunscreen. The only sunscreen I need is these muscles! Oh god, I love her so much. <laughs> Kisses bicep. That is both technically and grammatically incorrect, but I have learned by now not to argue with you about these things. That's the spirit. Now, what can I do to make my summer even more best? Well, by my calculations, your main area of improvement is the lake. That is why I brought you here. You see, your aquatic engagement score is below average this month, and thus... Man. But I can't go swimming! I just ate an energizing and nutritious meal, and swimming within 20 minutes of eating is not acceptable! Oh my god, it's him! Oh, it's Scott! Oh, it's Scott. oh my god, it's so oh my god! He's still got the facial expressions! Yep, he's amazing. He's from the first game. Uh-oh. Nancy, you want to take it or, or should no, I? you should. You did a great voice for him last time. <laughs> I mean, I can't remember it. The problem with uh, doing so many voices. It was slightly derpy and naive, but also kind of helpless <laughs> guys did, did someone say swimming <laughs> scott what are you doing all the way uh, out there in the lake 
swimming, I think. The problem is I forgot how to do it. Oh my yep. god. Was this before or after you swam out into the middle of the lake? After. That's why I'm such a pickle, bro. Can you not simply repeat the steps that got you to the center of the lake, but in reverse? I don't know. Let me try. Scott faces away from the shore and flails his arms backwards, attempting to rewind himself onto the shore. It's not very effective. Uh. Somebody's gonna have to help him, but Dahlia just ate, Calculester isn't waterproof, and you skipped swimming class to take CPR twice because... You thirsty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, looks like your only hope is to shout out some swimming advice before Scott finally dies of being an idiot. So oh, no. Swimming is just like speaking Mandarin Chinese, except instead of speaking, it's swimming. And instead of Mandarin Chinese, it's water. Just remember what you did last week when you suddenly forgot how to swim. Uh-oh. I have no clue. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, 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 I'm just saying, if he did it last week. <laughs> if he did it last week. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I'm trying, but... I can't. Is remembering things like swimming? Because I forgot how to swim, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, friend Scott, we are aware. Allow me to create an immersive projection of what happened last week in order to refresh your memory. That's the loading song. That was an amazing sound. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Guys, help! I've forgotten how to swim! It's okay, it's okay, Scott. Just remember what you did last week when this happened. I don't remember. But I don't remember what I did last week. Never fear, friend Scott. I shall create an immersive projection of what happened last week so as to refresh your memory. <laughs> help! What is swimming? <laughs> Stay calm, Scott. What you? What did you do last week when this happened? This is the worst loop ever. <laughs> this is the worst loop. I think last week you told me to remember what I did the week before, and then calculus played a projection of what happened. In which you told me to remember what happened. Error, error. <laughs> error, error scenario too dumb. Infinite recursion. Stack overflow. <laughs> Calculester starts smoking and falls over One of his hands falls into the lake Electrifying the entire thing And sending Scott skyrocketing back to shore Hey, you did it! You saved Scott! When Cal wakes up and sees how many fish he was responsible for killing though uh, He's anything but happy You lose minus two creativity and one charm oh, for breaking no. him Man, the well, damage in this is so harsh. It yep. totally is. Um, oh, right. You guys went there, so I can't go there. Uh, what was the woods again? Was that... The woods of smarts. Because okay. that's where I drank the smart water. Or s sort of. Okay, so I... given, given what Joy is like, what do you hmm. think I should go for for stats to try and, try and impress her? I would think charm. Yeah, I would say charm. Uh, okay, so Scout HQ? No, uh, I think that's Camp a Camp Dome. Dome is charm. Scout HQ is creativity. Oh, okay. I can't go to, to um, Camp Dome. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Woo! Okay, let's try it. Ah, oh, sweet! She's an archer! Today that's at Camp cool. Dome, the game is seven minutes in heaven. Extreme! Excuse me, what? <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> You volunteer yourself as tribute for your camp. You put on some lip balm ready for some hot kissing. But it seems you got the rules wrong. It's seven minutes in heaven extreme. They straight up murder you. And you need to stay in literal heaven for seven minutes. What? Oh. They stab you repeatedly. You're sure you're going to hell, but no. Heaven is beautiful and it's all you ever wanted. 
You want to stay, but they bring you back to life! You're cheered by your teammates, but you'll never be the same after being taken from heaven. You do look more heavenly, though, and that translates into plus two charm. That is so weird. Neat. Oh, hey, guys. You're on a team with Joy and Dahlia playing a Camp Dome classic, Capture the Flag from the Jaws of a Hungry Kraken. Dahlia's having a blast, but Joy seems completely uninterested. Yay. What's the matter with you, Joy? Aren't you having fun? I'm having a blast! Nah, I'm completely uninterested in this. Wow, cool, thanks. Do you assholes need a narrator or not? <laughs> 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 okay, it has gotten to a point where I just, like, read and then comprehend what I just read. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I could be out saving the world from actual Krakens right now, but instead I'm stuck here playing a stupid game with no real satisfactory conclusion. What are you talking about? The satisfaction is winning! And as far as fellow Coven <clears throat> and as a fellow Coven member, I can't allow myself to win this game without your full support and happiness. Aw, Dahlia's kind of a sweetheart. She They're in a coven so... together? I guess so. Dahlia, we've been over this. You are not now, nor have you ever been, a member of the... I, oh, oh, the my god. oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god, who is this? I don't it know. Hi, Dim Dimitri. Hello. <laughs> the coven, you say? Dimitri? What the hell are you doing here? Ah, uh, wouldn't you like to know, my beautiful black lotus flower? Okay, hold on a second. Uh-oh. Are you a vampire? I think he might be. <laughs> yeah, I would like to know. That's why I asked. You want to skip ahead to my villainous monologue, I see? But you know how much I hate to rush through the foreplay. Your power is admirable. Well... Regardless, I've joined Camp Rival Camp. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> um <laughs> Rival Camp? <laughs> okay. All right. So that I may finally vanquish the Coven Leader once and for all, while you are alone and distracted. Uh, okay. The joys of making s'mores and singing songs and kayaking under the blistering, delightful sun are quite taxing on my brooding exterior. But such crosses must I bear. Um? Oh, okay, to be honest, I got pretty bored and stopped listening like six sentences ago. But if you're a villain of the coven, brooding McNotlium, <laughs> oh then my you're God. a villain of mine. <laughs> Dahlia, stop! For the goddess's sake, you are not a witch! You don't even have any magic! Sure I do! Watch this! <laughs> oh my god! Dahlia uppercuts Dimitri right in the jaw. She's tattooed the word magic across her knuckles! Amazing! <laughs> Help! Amazing! <laughs> he actually has magic! This is I so good! I love her so <laughs> oh. much! Oh my goodness. Oh, look, I understand that you're new here, so let me explain. Coven X Dimitri fights begin with long, dramatic monologues laden with sexually frustrated undertones, then... Can do! She punches him. <laughs> She punches him with her other fist, upon which she's <laughs> apparently also tattooed the words sexually frustrated undertone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Which which fist is magic and which fist is sexually frustrated undertones, left or right? Whichever is her dominant hand is magic. <laughs> really? You don't think sexually frustrated undertones is the dominant hand? Well, the not dominant hand tends to be the more frustrated one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Thank you. That was that. Thank you. That's it. That we're just gonna end stream like right here. That's that's all we needed. <laughs> oh no! Oh, please.
please just stay out of my way so I can wrap up this fight and we can all go home. This episode only has 10 minutes left of runtime. No way am I leaving my fearless leader alone to fend for herself against this frickin' creep! That's not the coven way! Well, it seems the two girls have the same end goal but can't compromise on how to get there, so maybe you can come up with a way to help them be more in sync. Force them to play DDR until they synchronize their movements! Yes! Oh my god! Oh That's no! DDR. <laughs> oh my god! That's like an Evangelion moment! Uh, give them the Wonder Twins magic ring so they can sync up their powers. These uh, are both amazing. These are both very amazing, but the first one got me because DDR. Do it. I have to do this one. Oh, why? Oh. No! Angry the game! DDR is more fun than the rings. Everyone is pretty confused when you start dragging out DDR mats, but you don't care. You're about to reenact your favorite Evangelion oh episode. Oh my god! See, I called it! <laughs> relate so much to this oh <laughs> my god you want us to dance in sync are you sure this will work i'm not much of a dancer really nah i bet you're a natural i love dancing it's like punching but with a backbeat oh my god dahlia you know the term backbeat jesus <laughs> it's wonderful i need to cherish her <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. What song should we dance to? Ooh, this one looks promising. 24-7 lo-fi hip-hop radio. Yes! Oh my god, I love lo-fi! This woman is after my heart! <laughs> <laughs> Only lo-fi beats to steady, relax, sleep. No way, that's a snooze! What about Thank You, Next by Ariana Grande? Ugh, not my thing. Oh, what about Snuff by Slipknot? Girl, do you even know what dance music is? Here, let's do Breathe by Ariana Grande. Why are all of your suggestions Ariana Grande songs? Can't we pick something else? I mean, if you don't like the Riri Kareen herself, I guess that's fine. Abhorrent, unthinkable, and unforgivable, but fine. I occasionally also listen to anime opening themes and the screams of my enemies. Yay! I adore her. Okay, well, if we can't play DDR to heavy metal, lo-fi, or Gregorian chanting, this isn't going to work for me. Gregorian chanting woman? <sighs> you know what? I think we can at least agree on one thing. Devlin's plan is totally garbage. No! Oh. no! Hey, you two. Remember me, the nefarious, sexy bad guy who's been standing here this whole time, waiting to get this fight over with. Oh, don't worry, Bozo. We didn't forget about you. Now it's my turn to suggest a battle strategy. This is... Operation Throw Crocodiles is a go! How much do you listen to anime openings? <laughs> Together, Joy and Dahlia huck live crocodiles at Dimitri. He retreats as live crocodiles don't like being thrown, but love to bite living things indiscriminately. Okay, that is not how I thought that would go down. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I, you know, even if you lost points, you gain points for in 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 all of our hearts for picking DDR. Come on, it's DDR. DDR was so good. <laughs> At least that problem is solved. But Joy and Dahlia are still pretty annoyed with you for wasting their time. They rectify this injustice by throwing more live crocodiles. At no! Oh no! I was trying to help. The worst part is, this definitely never happened on Evangelion. You lose minus two smarts and one charm for having such a dumb plan. Oh my oh god, my no! fun is down to like one. Ugh. Everybody choose something good. Say your choice out loud the other players before clicking. Uh, anything good? Cheese? Yes, so. Cheese is good. Ooh. I'm gonna go with, uh... Pokemon. Mm, baby fluffy Chocolate birdies. Song. Okay, okay. Fluffy birdies. Fluffy birdies. Sure, you're right. Chocolate would have been a good choice too. But also, fun fact, the average crocodile weighs about 500 pounds. 
so Dahlia can really lift them. Ooh, can I change my thing to friendship? <laughs> oh, no. no, too late. Okay, Fair fine. order decided based on your ability to come up with a compelling title for a movie about the good thing. Start debating now. Pokemon uh... literally has movies. <laughs> uh... Several movies, in fact. And I believe one is about friendship. <laughs> you, know, I, there, you know, at the end of the day, all Pokemon movies are about friendship. This is very yes. true. Extremely I think, so. I think G takes first this time. <laughs> a compelling title for a movie about the good thing. So It would a... just be Pokemon! Right? So, so, like, Pokemon's nice and easy and straightforward. But how do you choose something for cheese or the fluffiest of birds? Mm. 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 Um. I don't know. I could start thinking of really horrific punny titles, like Just Remember to Breathe. <laughs> oh my Cheese. god. It'd be awful. Oh It'd be awful. No. But we could also go documentary style. It could be something that's like a documentary that, about cheese. True. It could be like a chef thing. Cheese dishes. Mm-hmm. But there could be uh, cute documentaries on the fluffy birds. True. Wait, no. It's a title for a movie about the Gouda thing. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pre you know what? That's pretty good. I'll, I'll, I'll take third this time. I, I'm drawing a blank on those birds. I love birds, but movie title? Movie title's a little difficult. Yeah, a little Briefly bit. Gouda. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. So, situations like this is where the the versus things comes in a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Because, uh... You're going to take that spot, and then I can't sit there with them. Which yep. means I get to go shopping. You're all geared up to invent a new kind of s'more. You're thinking jalapenos, maybe? That when suddenly... Well. That, that could be pretty good, actually. Yeah. Give it to me! It's my turn! Man. Damien, Hecate's third eye necklace is a powerful and dangerous magical artifact. You don't take turns with it. In fact, you don't touch it at all. But you've had it all day! Oh my god, Damien's whining is so funny. <laughs> yes, because I got it when I defeated Larry the Lich's father after he mysteriously turned evil following his son's third untimely death at Spooky High. Now I'm keeping it safe. I'm not understanding what you're not understanding. I think the part you're not understanding is that I want it! Poo boy. You're never gonna pioneer the jalapeno s'more at this rate. Better take a side and score some jalapeno brownie points. Why does that sound tasty to me? I legitimately think like spicy brownies would be tasty. I mean, I there's mean, such a are. thing as like spicy ice cream, spicy chocolate ice we, cream. We also have spicy hot chocolate. Mmm. I mean, Damien, leave Joy alone. I have Whoa. an even cooler magical artifact. Whoa! Magic, Magic of the, the Gathering? Gathering? Mm. However, if you let Damien hold it, he'll probably just set it on fire and destroy it. But if it, if it's such a dangerous artifact, this should save you a lot of trouble. I, I kind of want to side with Damien, give him the things. Follow your heart. But Magic the Gathering. Magic Gathering's good, but I... Damien wants the thing, I want Damien to have the thing. Oh. Now look, G, normally Damien breaking something would be my number one most expected outcome in any given situation. Mm-hmm. But Hecate's third eye necklace is very much indestructible. I've tried my most powerful magics on it to no avail. But you haven't tried Damien. In fact, a council of elders have- Okay, you know what? You just reminded me of something. Wouldn't mm. it be hilarious if Joy and Damien get together? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, a council of elders have- 
<clears throat> a council of elders have been assembled to determine how best to destroy this relic and wipe its scourge from the face of the earth. To break Hecate's third eye necklace, a great journey will have to be undertaken, entirely on foot, with no air travel allowed, past countless obstacles and enemies, and... Hey, noob. Enjoy! Your shitty relic is totally weak. I had it for like two seconds and it just fell apart. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it actually worked. My boy. <laughs> it what now? Yeah. You were just talking for a really long time? So I got bored and I just took the necklace. I just kind of started fucking around with it, and next thing I knew it was in seven pieces. Seven? We haven't even been able to break it in two. <laughs> but I got <laughs> mad at it. It's a shitty relic. Oh my no, god. I'm so sure. Do you want these ashes to remember it by, or should I just burn the ashes? And then burn the ashes of the ashes. One moment, please. I have a council of elders to address. <laughs> that look on her face. Man! I hope this doesn't mean Joy won't let me fuck with cooler, better, less breakable artifacts in the future. Stupid, weak-ass Hecate's third eye necklace. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, the council of elders is frankly shook. Uh, they have never seen a dangerous magical artifact so quickly and efficiently destroyed. So, where does that put me? That was Damien, how would you like to have a turn with some more artifacts? Let's go! Oh, Damien! Damien's eyes light up with glee, and he cries the battle cry of someone about to fuck with a bunch of shit. Uh, to, to fuck a bunch of shit up. <laughs> <laughs> For once, with someone else's permission. Amazing. Nice. I guess T Rex, one, two, three, thank you for the hundred bits. It's gonna make you proud of me, but I have anxiety issues. I'm scared I won't do something well. Yo, dude, you'll do just fine. Oh, I love him. He's adorable looking. Ah, good old Mothman. Who wants to read the Mothman? Uh, I can do it. Yeah. Wait, I don't know what voice to give him. Greetings, Devlin. Come, gather by the campfire with me. Yeah, sure, okay. You sit down next to Moss and gear up to make a bitchin' s'more. Wonderful. Now, let us join hands. Okay, then... Thank you. Now that we are one with one another, we shall become one with the fire. Um. By feeding the fire of our gossip by means of an offering. You first, Devlin. Oh, whew. You can spare the fire, little gossip, if it's either that or your highly flammable flesh. So let's get gossiping. <laughs> uh, choose a player to strike with your gossip skills. Ooh, Ooh what will you do? Uh, how are we doing? Uh, it looks like... Looks like G's the furthest ahead point-wise, I think. Well, I don't know. They all kind of average out nicely. To be fair, I did take the spot that you wanted, so picking me as a target is very fair. Fire, I heard that Ganondorf's last name is Dragmire McFartman. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Um, I think if I pick myself, I get to, like, make up something good about myself, which might also work in my favor. I mean, that could be cool. I think? I mean, I don't remember. But... Inu Ghost says choose G, so I guess I'm choosing G. Uh, choose one. Intellectual who watches Ricky and Morty, alligator and clown makeup, essential oil pyramid scheme, overly aggressive flyer distributor. <laughs> what will you say about me? Oh. Pyramid scheme. Choose one. Big Chungus, the oh my God. Art Cloud, Bob Ross <laughs> off brand soda. History Master, thank you for the hundred bits. This is gonna be some to interesting gossip. <laughs> some interesting I'm gossip hydrating. popping in. I refuse wiggles. to involve Bob Ross in any poor gossip, so it's gonna have to be one of these. Fair enough, fair enough. 
Um. Becky starts here with 100 bits. Thank you, okay. Becky. I think Jack Sepsify would appreciate being accompanied this character like with to, a tomato. You'd use to Did you do the same thing? Hamburger. Oh my. Moist. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Juicy. Juicy. Dry. Hmm. Crumbly. Hmm. Uh, what else? How else would I? <laughs> get it off into the mouth. <laughs> you know when you get like a giant, like one of those yep. giant artisan burgers, and it's just so big you the can't really actually thick fit it in burgers. Your mouth. Uh huh. How would I describe hamburger? I'm trying to like it's really difficult because I'm like, well, what kind of burger is it? Is it like a Big, thick, juicy one. Is your it... first thought when you think of a hamburger, what is the image that pops in your head? Is it nice and juicy? Is it greasy? Is it delicious? Sloppy. There you go. Yes, that was some fine, wonderful gossip. I feel that the fire is satiated for tonight. Farewell for now, Devlin. Glory to the campfire. Kinda curious what happened with that rumor. Was that even a rumor? It just sounded like word vomit. Luckily, your dumb friends will turn that senseless jabber into gossip in no time. Hello. Oh. Hey. Oh, hello. Listen up. I just heard something wild about G. While G may seem normal, or whatever passes for normal around here, he apparently worships a very strange religion. So, I like her. She's cool. I know, He's right? Actually, a priest in the Church of Big Chungus. Members believe that Big Chungus is a major deity, and its worshippers will be granted eternal ecstasy. Tell me more. According to the Church of Big Chungus' scripture, Big Chungus earned deity status in 300 BC by saving the townspeople of what is now Los Angeles from an essential oil pyramid scheme. I mean, that is definitely something worth saving people from. <laughs> I heard that G's priest name in the church is his sloppiness G! <laughs> Your sloppiness! The sloppiness, oh no! And their rituals oh, are a little bizarre. They speak with their third eyes when they give sermons. All of their hymns are played on an automaton? That is indeed something we're familiar with here. <laughs> that is okay. Those sounds are from an automaton. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> New members have to wax their nostrils to join. Uh. It makes you rethink things, huh? I'm not here to shame anybody for their religious beliefs, but I figured you ought to know the truth about his sloppiness, G. A person's core values are very telling of their character. <laughs> Your rumor has now become part of the collective unconsciousness, and results, G gains plus two creativity. Amazing. I didn't expect any of that. That was that an interesting backfired. time. <laughs> that well, fired so hard. I know where I'm going. <laughs> Only one place to go for you. Uh-huh. Uh, you're loitering by the campfire when you notice Aravi and Dahlia whispering to each other and giggling. You're terrified of both of them, uh, but the giggling is adorable. Haha, <laughs> mistake, join us! Aravi and I are having our official weekly girl talk session! We both love girl talk. So what? It's a guilty pleasure. If you tell anyone, I'll kill ya! <laughs> Indeed, both Aravi and I are masters of the battlefield and masters of the feminine arts. It's so nice to talk with someone who gets it. It kinda is. Speaking of which, I wanted to ask you. Who does your war paint? You were rocking that Furiosa charcoal look when we were beheading those undead beasts. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah! I do my war paint myself! It's a critical part of my battle ritual. We are totally winning. No way! That's sick, Dahlia. I usually have Hex do mine. I kinda suck at blending. One time I tried to do a smoky eye and accidentally set my forehead on fire. Oh dear. Hex oh dear. I freaking love doing Ravi's war paint. 
I would do it every day, except Raviomi likes it done for main story battles. And I'm also very lazy and unreliable. <laughs> uh, Ravi, war paint should be done. Uh, should be done anytime you're in combat. It's how warriors channel their inner blood horniness. You gotta do it for you, you know. Their what? Their inner horniness. Shrug, shrug, shrug. It's what she said. <laughs> your your inner what? <laughs> shrug. Your horny what now? Remember, shrug? I give you a warning before before we planned this out that this game was gonna get a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I can't see my I can't see my own war paint. It makes no sense to spend 20 minutes doing it if it's just gonna be the last thing a few side quest orcs see before they die. I can't technically die, but if I could, I'd want my last memory to be of Dahlia in a brave heart looking ass, blue and white war paint look. <laughs> Damn! Holy shit, I would look amazing in Braveheart war paint! And I've been meaning to conquer Scotland for a while! Fuck yeah. Fuck, that's sick! Well, Dahlia, maybe we could do matching war paint looks sometime! It would be so intimidating! Can you imagine? Our enemies would cower at the sight of us! They already do, but they would cower even more! Okay, obviously I'm going to do matching war paint on you two. But what look should we go for? Handprint vibes? Urban camo? Knife eyes? What, what do you think, Masay? What's knife eyes? Uh, I don't know. You're not a war paint expert, but you are an expert at impressing your crush. These two I mean, cuties. Sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> These two cuties have got pretty different aesthetics, though. What do you suggest? Uh-oh, true beauty comes from what's inside you. That's why I make my war paint using tons of blood. Oh. <laughs> war paint is awesome, but I but when I really want to slay, I reach for my secret weapon, a legendary limited edition prestige battle skin. Blood. Ooh. <laughs> Smarter. <laughs> Whoa, that makes so much sense, Masay. Look at that. I'm channeling her. I know. I know her number. I know her freaking number. You Good do. You I know keep... her quite well. <laughs> I keep watching war paint tutorials on YouTube, and they're always talking about how you should focus on your inner beauty. And inner beauty makes no sense to me. Why do I have to try to make my insides beautiful when I know my, that my buff blue outside is gorgeous? Okay, you're definitely gorgeous. Like, for sure. But don't you think inner beauty is important too? You're always talking about the heart of the warrior and stuff. For sure, all warriors are ultimately judged by the courage and violence that lives in their hearts. But... I also just think it's weird to say that you can't focus on physical beauty and that you have to ignore it for a personality or something. Feeling hot is a good feeling. I just think everyone should feel beautiful in their own skin. So that's why I don't get all those inner beauty videos. I always close them after like 30 seconds. You quickly explain to Dahlia that she's just closing the videos too soon and missing out on their true message. You pull up a YouTube war paint tutorial on your phone. Hey everyone, it's Beth. Back with another fresh war paint look for you guys. Now I just want to say right off the bat that the most important thing is inner beauty. See? Listen, Beth, it's okay if you want to feel hot. So, since we're focusing on inner beauty, I'll be doing a war paint look using only the entrails of my foes! It's a really gorgeous blood focus look. <laughs> like and subscribe! Damn! That was awesome! Wait, are all inner beauty videos like this one? Pull up some more videos! Morning, warriors! I'm back with another video about inner beauty and how you can use the inner bones of your enemies for a chic power 
Powder Foundation. Oh, grinding enemies' bones into powder? That's so smart. What a life hack! Yeah. I wonder if you could do the same thing with the teeth of your enemies. Hmm. Maybe that'd be a better for a highlighter instead of foundation. Do another video. You guys keep asking about this, and yes, I do kill human babies to make my face masks. Guilty pleasure alert! They're expensive, but it's so worth it for that youthful glow. It's all upsides. You get great war paint, and the babies never grow up to avenge their parents, who you probably also killed for cosmetic purposes if you checked my last video. Wow, I literally never say this because it almost never happens, but I was wrong. These inner beauty videos have some next level war paint techniques. <laughs> Hell yeah, they do. Come on, Hex. Let's leave Dahlia and Masay on their own for a while. I want to go try out that entrails inspired look with an orc corpse. <laughs> Today was awesome. Thanks for challenging me to go out of my comfort zone, Masay. You know, you have tons of inner beauty yourself. Oh. I get the oh. feeling that your internal organs, uh-oh, are just oh. a lovely shade of red, you know? Oh, and I also like your personality. Hell yeah! You impressed Dahlia so much that she's talking to you about internal organs. Maybe the next organ you two discuss will be... <laughs> the heart! God, I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, bring out chip flasks. Uh, I'll take the gamble. <laughs> Girl Caner is just like, not gonna lie, a little concerned by how cleanly you read that last narration. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm just reading, okay? Right? Reading. It's we're, a skill. We're just reading what's in front of us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it is mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, hydrate and stretch time. Ooh. Uh. Tea Thank you for the hydrate mm. and the posture. Oh, um. oh that's good. Long oh. Summon 3 is cheer with 100 bits. Thank you. All right. Um, what will it be then? I guess we can only do that. I'll take a gamble. Because Dawn is mm. tough on Greece. Oh, my God. That weekend, you visit your good pal, Juan. Juan! He knows a thing or two about getting wasted. Yeah, Juan! Bueno, bueno. bueno. Oh, sorry. Oh, so cute. <laughs> uh, hello? Look who's here. I was just experimenting with these drinks here. I was about to throw them away, but I have a feeling you're reckless enough to give them a try, right? <laughs> what about this one? Yeah. Quite hmm. appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, oh, will you? I also have this mystery box, because at this point, who knows what you drink? Oh boy! The box, the box, or the cosmopolitan? Uh oh. Duh, let's go with the cosmopolitan. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. Oh? And you passed, yeah. Your prize is the drink you chose. What do you say? Will you take the drink of the day, yeah? It looks like it's got tentacles on it. It does look like it has many tentacles <laughs> in it. Or would you prefer the mystery box? Um, uh, uh, it could it could have a boat. It could be anything. It could yeah, it could be boat. anything. Could even be a boat. <laughs> it could be a boat. Does does my character like tentacles? I feel like no, maybe. I feel like we are our characters a little bit. So you know what? <laughs> Take your pick. Are, um, are you cool with a tentacle drink? Ew. 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 Mystery box so both of you. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds, yeah. I mean, it does say protein shake. 
Hooray! Oh my! No Why idea. Why does everyone I... else get nicer looking drinks? <laughs> I'm so sorry. God. No idea if I got the recipe right. Wanna try it? Yeah. Oh, I clicked off the screen. Otherwise, you have the mystery box. Um, I'm gonna take the royale. I'm gonna take that royale. Chug. Yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense again. Just like I did that other guy, and you passed. Your prize is the drink you chose. Oh, Juan. Man. The protein shake. Let's see what it gives you. A nutritious a nutri protein shake. It's just a bunch of magic bugs I was collecting and keeping in that cup. It wasn't supposed to be for someone to drink them. Hooray. But here we are. And they will probably swarm inside you and change all of your stats randomly. Ooh, this what? little <laughs> Oh. That's why it's called a shake. Because they shake up your stats. Not because it is an actual shake, you genius. <laughs> I thought it was pretty obvious, yeah. Um. Okay. Interesting. It moved some of your stats around. Yeah, it did. Yep, you have really high did. boldness now. Ah, the royale. This gives you true royal presence. You'll be so commanding that you could even make two people exchange their stats. Oh. Wow. Oh, God. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wow. I mean, oh. there is only two people who are choosable here, so I guess we change stats? I, I guess so. Well. Wow. Well then. The Cosmopolitan received its name because it disrupts the very core of the cosmos. Mm-hmm. Thanks to it, any stat effect is now doubled for you. For better or for worse, yeah? I don't know what that means. Still hard to believe you drank that. Good luck, I guess. Uh, Everybody uh, choose uh, a celebrity. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> Can I go with Keanu again? Uh, sure. Who am I gonna go with? Um. I don't really know celebrities. That's the problem. Yeah, that's my struggle too. But uh, uh, I'll go with The Rock. Wait. The Rock counts as a celebrity. True. Be true. Uh. Mystery Masters, cheer with 100 bits. Thank you. Can we sing Mage wants no repeat, songs? so okay, I'll choose someone other than Keanu. I, I think, I think oh, our war it. paint discussion was kind okay. of a campfire um, song. And Foz Extreme is cheer with 100 bits as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's probably my idea that this game has been hilarious with your awesome voice acting. Gotta head off for a walk, though. Have fun. Thank you, Foz. The actress who was Princess Leia, bless her soul. Rest in peace and all that stuff. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go with Brendan Fraser. Ooh, good choice. Oh, nice one. All right. Yeah, so we got Carrie Fisher, Brendan Fraser, and The Rock. Player orders decided based on how many scout badges you think that celebrity would have. Order goes from most badges to least badges. Uh. I just know Brendan Fraser is just like a truly wholesome dude, but I I don't know how how scout badges work. <laughs> Me neither. I also don't know how scout badges. I think it's just like if you do things at camp, like certain activities or something, maybe. Okay. Okay. We could just random this one. I no, would be okay with that. It. Okay. Masse, you got first. Ooh. Okay. My time to shine. Okay, uh, I do not have very much boldness. I would like more bold. Let's go more bold. That day in the haunted manor, you find a bunch of ghosts playing craps. You're terrible at gambling, but that's never stopped you before. 
You face off against the crab's champion, slam all of your chips down on the table, and cry out, I bet my immortal soul! Everyone gasps, and then someone says, Dude, chill. We're just, like, playing to have fun. Nobody's even betting real money. Oh, you're not used to such low-stakes betting around the camp. Honestly, it's a relief. You bet plus uh, you bet plus two boldness against a champion instead, and you win! Yo! Nice. None of that gets you any closer to banging your champ, your campmates, though, which is <laughs> no! why you're so relieved to find Dahlia shortly after. She appears to be... Thinking? Hmm. Harpoon gun, baby powder, tank of compressed helium. What am I missing? Oh, hey, Massey. Behold my latest gambit in my all out campaign to have the best summer ever. You see, one key component of an, of an optimal summer is an amazing tent. And, a, and, and an amazing tent needs amazing tent supplies. I've already packed all the essentials. A grill for cooking my tent steaks. A snuggly teddy bear so I can keep my biceps toned by squeezing it tight. And of course, a bag of live snails. I'm sure I don't even need to explain that one. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I, I question the wisdom here. Same. <laughs> but I just can't shake the feeling that I'm missing something. And if I'm missing something, there's a chance that my tent will be suboptimal. I can't allow that to happen. But what could it be? I've already got a cooler full of spare organs and a spiked dog collar in case I find a dog. Maybe I need a hand mirror for starting campfires and checking up my look. No, that interfere with the tent's laser grid. I'm really stumped, but you look like a monster with a lot of camping savvy. Maybe you can help. If Dahlia's gullible enough to believe you have gam you, you have camping savvy, she's probably got bigger problems. Well, here goes nothing. Uh-oh. Are oh, you gonna help? <laughs> <laughs> no one ever thinks about the tent's well-being. Bring a tent for the tent in case the tent gets cold. Ah-ha-ha! -ha. Hmm. Everyone knows a survival setup isn't complete without someone to share it with. Do oh it. my. Do it. Oh, that's so forward. She'd That's like it. so you forward. Know it. It's so charming mm. if you pull it off. I like it. Wink, 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 Dahlia. Oh, oh dang it. What? Oh, man. The most important We're charming object. enough for that? What? Uh, apparently. Is someone to share your tent with? I'm sorry. I'm confused. Are you referring to yourself? You nod awkwardly. Isn't that a little bit objectifying to pitch yourself as a piece of survival equipment? You shake your head awkwardly. You know what? I'm gonna stop describing individual things you do as awkward, because that's apparently just your brand. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> well, alright, but if I'm gonna bring you along as survival gear, I'm gonna make sure you have some sort of survival value. Let's see. Can I use you to hammer in my tent poles? Oh no, Dahlia picks you up and beats you against her <laughs> tent poles. You're too squishy to hammer in anything except your own face. No. Hmm. Oh no. You could be a decent stick for roasting marshmallows. Dahlia stuffs some marshmallow in your mouth, holds you by your feet and thrusts you out over an open fire. Look though, my hair is literally fire though. My this is true. Is literally <laughs> fire. She could she could have like a portable heating machine. Look, Dolly, I'm gonna pitch this to you. I'm a, I'm a portable heating machine. You can cook things on my head. Literally, I can just sit in the corner of the tent and make everything warm. Perfect. Who doesn't want me? You're not very good oh, at planking, so you immediately oh, no. pull these into the fire. Oh no. Oh, I'm not promising. I'm not promising at all. Oh, maybe you're maybe your compass. Quick, which way is north? Oh my god! I never knew which way was north. The vigorous face smashing followed by having your head set on fire was knock the knowledge clean out of you. But you had the moss. I know, I know. That should count. Should, that should count. count. Well, I'm sure you're good for something, but I'm just not sure what it is. Sorry. Aww. Oh, you can't. 
casually tosses you into a river like a broken walking stick and helps cool your seared face when you immediately get poked in the eyes by a broken walking stick. Oh no! Man, maybe you should try being less useless. Oh, oh you god! Oh. Negative two smarts. Negative one fun. Oh, oh that no! Was a rough round. That's rough. I'm distressed. Rough. I'm so distressed. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get my fun up from a one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for my shit stats, man. That's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> oh my god, is that duck pecking at your head? It might be a goose. <laughs> they, they would be jerks. Well, that day, you decide to go scuba diving and find a treasure chest at the bottom of the lake. Whoa! You pick the lock, which is quite impressive if you keep it if you keep in mind that you're still underwater. Inside you find over 1000 fun. What? Let's go. Unfortunately, your wetsuit doesn't have pockets, so you can only so you can only go back to sh <laughs> so you can only go back to shore only with plus 2 fun. When you go Aww. back, fish have eaten the rest. They're having a rave right now. Aww. Dang you, fish! That was my fun! <laughs> Fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close to having my fun. <laughs> Look at that rave going on, though. Oh, you're, dude! You're resorting your collection of Pokemon cards. Dude! This oh is on god. point! <laughs> oh my god. This is game. Thinking wistfully of the Terry the Taxman you once traded for an Arctic colonist, Ernest Shackleton. When you're interrupted. <laughs> there you are, G. I've been looking everywhere for you. Those words warm your heart more than any fire ever could. Even more than the wildfire which Damien is presumably searching desperately once more. I'm searching desperately for the wildfire once more. <laughs> <laughs> Narrator, dude. And there it is. Since you were such a big help last time, I thought you might want to try again. I mean, you weren't such a big help as to actually bring the wildfire. But I did appreciate your support and enthusiasm. And mostly if I do find the wildfire, I'm going to need a witness to prove it. I realize our approach last time was all wrong. Yes, we pulled off something radical and metal, as only I could. And with you watching, I guess. Baka. But if fire most, but it is fire most known for being radical and metal? <laughs> yes, of course it is. But it's also known for being dangerous and reckless, obeying no laws and fearing nothing. The wildfire will not appear simply to those who are radical and metal, or it totally would have already come to me. I need to do something truly unmistakably dangerous and reckless to lure that sneaky wildfire out. Any thoughts? Oh my god. She's gonna try to get the wildfire to show up in the water? Um... <sighs> All right, well, let's see. Uh, you're so tempted. <clears throat> you're so tempted to tell Damien that the appearance of wildfire is based on weather and foliage, not worthiness, and Aravi was just fucking with him. But doing that would be against your own interests, since it would cut short this valuable bonding time. <laughs> so you make up some reckless, dangerous, stupid bullshit, because apparently putting your crush in danger is worth it. For you, as long as you can do shenanigans <laughs> with him. <laughs> I mean... You should really do some introspection about this later, vis-a-vis -vis your priorities and ethics. But for now, you pitch Damien the best idea you've got. Ooh. Alright, enroll in an expensive university and declare a useless major that has no job security. So ridiculous. Oh my god, that hurts mm. me in my millennial heart. Yeah, that, yep, same. Ow. Oh. Same. 
Why does that hurt so much? That that Ow. hurts a lot. And then like there's IRL. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dang, all that money. <laughs> And then we have someone truly reckless would travel at 150 miles per hour in a Ferrari being driven by a cat. Cats oh don't my give a God. fuck. What? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going with the cat because the other one hurts too much. The other one hurts too <laughs> so much. <bold. laughs> uh. Yes, I'm into it. I'm into it. Hannah can always scare up a Ferrari at a moment's notice because that's how badass I am. <laughs> but where the fuck are we going to get a cat? Is, is Juan coming back? Yeah, where's Juan? There. Whoa. Oh, hello, hello friend Damien. Hello, friend G. I found this cat in the woods and have been searching for the rightful owner. He looks more totally like yes. a pug. It is totally us. <laughs> well, you found him! That's me! The rightful owner of this cat! Oh, no. <laughs> is this true, friend Damien? You do not seem like the type to voluntarily take care of a small, helpless creature with love and care. Well, according to some people, I've completely changed, and I'm no longer a hardcore badass. So I need this cat, too. Lean into that and complete tra complete my transformation into a responsible, non-reckless person? I am so glad to hear that. I will return the cat to you. I feel like we have much more in common now that I know you care for this cat the way I care for my plants. Oh, he has a heart face too. <laughs> That's really cute. Yes, of course! I'm not going to do anything reckless or dangerous with this cat. <laughs> Smash cut to... Wait, did Damien just say smash cut? Oh shit, that was a smash cut somehow. You're now speeding down a highway at 200 miles per hour in a Ferrari driven by a cat. Oh no. Driven is in quotes because a cat has no thumbs and its little paws don't reach the gas pedal. So it's a... It's a cat in the driver's seat, and Damon's foot's fucking gun in the Ferrari. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> the Ferrari crashes spectacularly, of course. You escape unscathed because you're the protagonist of your own life. <laughs> Damien does a dive roll out of the Ferrari, clutching the cat to his chest. That's style, baby. Woo I did it! I saved the cat, proving that although I'm a badass with a stone-cold exterior, I have a heart of gold. Whoa, that was actually pretty sick. Yeah. yeah, there's no way the wildfire can doubt the worthiness of that cat. It was the one driving the Ferrari. I'm sure the wildfire will appear to it soon. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't even think of that. Don't worry, we'll get it next time and find that wildfire once and for all. Just watch us! <laughs> us? We? Seems like Damien is starting to think of you as a team. Sick. Plus four fun and plus two chug. Oh it's all God, yours, nice. baby! What? Yo, let's go! That is awesome! Okay, I could probably work on some charm, maybe? Which one's charm? Uh, charm would be. Um. No, oh, wait. Yeah, charm would be Camp Doom. Alright, yes. let's try this again. Today at the Camp Dome, the game is Charades Extreme! It's just regular charades, but apparently they love to stick extreme onto any classic game. Sounds. sounds right. It's your turn, and you get third times the charm. Third is easy to convey just by using your fingers. But charm is harder to get your team to guess it right. You act as if you were more charming than you really are. You manage to do that, gain plus two charm by playing the role and bringing your team to victory. Hooray! Nice. 
after that, you leave because you agreed to join Joy and Spot for their latest photography class shoot, thinking maybe this time there will be some nudity. Wow, no. thirsty much? Ooh. <laughs> no such luck. Unless... Oh no! <laughs> look at that face! Ah, I love it! Joy, look! That pink fleshy giant is another one of my... F the Wait, is that sentence correct? That pink fleshy giant is another one of my photographs. I think it's following me. Maybe you should try taking your finger off the lens. Oh, wow. Thanks for the tip, Joy. Maybe if I remove my finger, I'll get an even better view of the creature. Uh, oh, no. What's going on? You do that, buddy. My goddess. Devlin, thanks for coming along. I love Scott, and this class has been good for him, but sometimes it's like taking photos with a pile of bricks. Joy, Joy, look! I found a bush! <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> what? What? <gasps> what? What? It has legs! It's got legs! It has down a little here. face! And like a. Is that a little owl? A hat? Bush? And an owl? Wow, you found a bush in nature? That's incredible. Wait, that's not a bush. No, trust me. I'm an expert. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I've been holding my pee all day. <laughs> what? Oh Scott! no! Scott, why? <laughs> uh, well, you'll have to hold it a little longer. The bush was me all along. Counselor Flodge, Master of Disguise, strikes again. Uh... Wow! I totally thought you were a bush, bro. Even smell like leaves and dog urine, just like a real bush. Did you actually paint yourself green? You're a chameleon. You can change the color of your skin. Um, that would be cheating, Joy. This is camouflage, and you have still a lot to learn. You should come to more of my camouflage classes. Hmm. Pass. I can use magic anyway. Your loss. You're missing on the most popular class in all of Camp Spooky. Eh, I find that hard to believe. Who's into camouflage these days? Everyone I know is more into being very loud and visible. And annoying, if I must say. <laughs> oh, what? People not into camouflage these days? Well, 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 if that's true, how come five campers came to me the other day to learn how to camouflage themselves to sneak into the ca- uh oh uh -oh. Uh oh Oh, no. The camp showers. <clears throat> what? Please tell me you didn't teach five campers how to hide undetectably in the bathrooms. You just got of course I did! I am a great counselor and a master of disguise! I wouldn't let down some fellow camouflage enthusiasts! But you did realize it was totally for perverted sex reasons, right? Eh? Hey? Uh, oh. Hmm. You're right, Joy. Now that I think about it, it's quite clear they wanted to camouflage for perverted reasons. <sighs> it's so dumb. I was so enamored with the fine art of camouflage, I forgot it could be used for evil. You fool. God damn it, Flodge. Come on, Devlin, we've got to find a way to flush them out. This is an emergency. Oh, disguise them by camouflaging the entire <clears throat> bathroom as a parallel dimension where nudity does not exist. Oh my god. <laughs> Scare them off by recruiting their parents to come have sex in that very- Wow! Wow! Whoa! Yikes! Wow! Okay, Yikes! Perfectly evil! Dang. Perfectly evil! You want to peep on some people? Here are your parents. Like, <laughs> wow! That, mm. Oh my god! Gosh, and then there's this one, which is like, oh, okay, that's kind of clever and silly and meta. And then there's that one. Mm hmm. S Scott's face, that's me. Yes. Scott's face is me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we kind of have to pick this one, don't we? 
Yep. I think so. No! That's the fun choice? That's... Which, what? That's the fun choice? How is that fun? How is that fun? That's uh, pretty twisted. But I guess peeping on folks in the bathroom is even more twisted. If this is the only way, and you assure her it is for some reason, then I guess we have no choice. We just need to track down some parents. You find the parents' names in Facebook, where all parents hang out. Oh my god, why is this oh my so spot god. on? <laughs> and soon have several couples willing to come to your emergency Camp Spooky parent meeting. You meet them at a warehouse just outside of camp where you always... Wait, which you always use when you're doing sketchy business. Clarkson, thank you for why 14 months, Why am I doing sketchy business regular? Have why am I doing this and on the down? And have a good rest. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, cool warehouse. Did it always have so many stains? Oh no. No time uh -oh. to get into the history of all your warehouse stains. You've got some parents to organize. Oh no. You sit everyone down and call the meeting to order. Before you can start with the main topic, a concerned dad takes the initiative. Hello everyone. I'm Dick Pickle, father of Dick Jr. Who is Dick Jr. again? Asks another parent. The Wang Elemental. Ah, oh, yes, right. That checks out. I'm glad we're holding this meeting. I've been saying for days now that it's not acceptable that the camp doesn't have a lactose intolerant friendly menu. Wow. This is taking a turn. Yep, yeah. it really is. You try to explain to Dick that this meeting is not about the menu. Nah, what's the main topic then? You explain to them that the bathroom perverts and how you need some of them to go have sex in the bathrooms in order to scare their children out of there. I'm, I'm like, ah, uh, mm. how do you even say something like that in a reasonable <laughs> manner? <laughs> this Wait. game takes many twists. <laughs> You're asking us to go to the summer camp to have sex in the bathrooms? In front of our children, yes. I think she wants us to do that so our children will see. No, no, that would be fucked up. Obviously you want them to pretend they're going to have sex so their kids will be scared out of the bathrooms. It's poetic justice for trying to peep in there. I have a hard time putting the concepts of poetry and justice so close to the idea of having sex in front of our children. You get their point. It's all coming out way weirder than it sounded in your head. Yeah. I mean, I am <laughs> concerned that my child is involved in some peeping in the showers business. It's inexcusable. I will text him right now to get them out of there. Hi, some random fox. Welcome to the stream. But all this let's get these parents to fuck in the bathrooms also sounds really pervy. Someone should probably call this camper's parents, too. And tell them to have sex in front of her? Oh, that does sound like poetic justice. No. No, not that. Can we all agree that it's not okay to have me It's not an okay method of education. Yeah, agreed. Now, can we talk about the lack of options for the lactose intolerant in the camp <laughs> menu? God, my God, why does nothing ever work out for me? <laughs> the rest of the meeting is boring as hell. You are bound to have a strange conversation with your parents, and Joy seems quite disgusted by you. You must admit that this plan was hard to pull off without it sounding hella weird. Hindsight's twenty twenty, I guess. You lose too fun and no! it's shot. No! Oh. Those were my lowest stats already! Everybody choose an animal. Say your choice out loud and the other players before clicking. Bird. Coral? I, I heard a bird and then what was the other one? Squirrel? Squirrel! Okay, okay, squirrel. Uh, I will go with, uh, let's just go with the lion. You know, just, just a big old lion. Player order is decided based on which animal would be the most dangerous if granted opposable thumbs. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, 
I mean, lions <laughs> definitely would be insanely dangerous if granted opposable thumbs. But would they be any more dangerous if they had if they had opposable thumbs? But I mean, compare them to squirrels who already have opposable thumbs. <laughs> they're just assholes. No, I'm kidding. They're they're not. No, they are. They're assholes. But what if squirrels had more opposable thumbs? Can you have more than one opposable thumb on, like, a single hand and or foot? A lot of chat thinks squirrels already have opposable thumbs. Yeah, I think they, Birds they also have opposable have thumbs. thumbs? Uh, they don't really have thumbs. They have, like, talons. Yeah, I mean, they, they have, can... like, that back talon. Yeah. Gonna, gonna go with, um, the lions having opposable thumbs. Lions first, dangerous. definitely. Um, squirrels are legitimate assholes, though. I had this mm -hmm. really beautiful pot of lilies last year that I was, like, nursing back from hell because when we pulled the bulbs out of the packaging when we bought them, they had mm. started growing in the packaging, and so they were, like, all twisted and sickly green, and, like, Ooh. we nursed it back to health, and they were beautiful, and they were... They were just starting to come back and they were blooming and the squirrels in the neighborhood decided they were going to pull them out of the pot, beat them to smithereens against the sidewalk, and then Oh, leave. no! That what sucks. What the dicks? They didn't even eat the bulbs. They that just sucks. beat them up and left. I was so mad. Wow. But squirrels are jerks. If they had more opposable thumbs, they would just be bigger jerks. I, I have I have an argument for birds. Please do. Seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> I also feel like crows would be dangerous. With oh thumbs. yeah, but they're, it, the thing is, is that they're smart. Like they're, they're... seagulls just love food. Yeah, True. and crows are smart, and they could be evil, and they hold grudges. They do hold they grudges. Do. They do. Ooh. Huh, <laughs> Jory definitely does not like seagulls. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's seen Jory already popping off. They oh, could no. snatch my burger? Oh no. With opposable uh, thumbs, they could be even worse. In Mexico, there was like a little food stand right next to the beach. So you could go and like order yourself some burger and fries and then go sit on the beach. And, um,. No joke, this mom had had brought her burger and fries out in like a styrofoam box and she like set it down on her beach chair, literally turned around for like three seconds to tend to her toddler child and a seagull had gotten in there, grabbed the burger and left. It was so fast and I witnessed <laughs> all of it. And oh my God, he just made off with it. And then later she was like, she was like literally upset about it. She was so sad. Oh so, no. I felt so bad for her cause she was so stressed out with her kid. And then she's just, she's on vacation. She just wanted her damn burger and fries. Oh, that's so sad. The main argument I have for this is squirrels are stuck to the ground. They can Birds fly. Are aerial menaces. We have aerial we have aerial squirrels. Squirrels can glide. Birds okay. can just be aerial menaces. <laughs> <laughs> Birds can oh. fly to each uh, balcony and be like open? Open. Food. Open chaos. <laughs> Yo, Alita! Yo, Alita! Oh, Alita, yo! Don't look that up. Um, Don't look that uh -oh. up. Oh, oh, God. I mean, you might be, it might have come to the right place because the stuff that's been going on in this stream. Oh, it's been, <laughs> it has been glorious. It's been great. Oh, my gosh. Inigo, oh, thank you so much for the tip in the tip jar. I wore a suit and a, and a for the seagull chances, stole future my burger this game? and managed uh, to get mustard I might all play over if, my like, G and oh uh, Devlin want to play again. <laughs> <laughs> and will it be uploaded on YouTube? You yes. Yeah. Show oh, here really quick. That it's hilarious. I am loving it. Aw, inspiring. So very much so. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna stay dumb. I, I, I don't need to get smarter. I'm just. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's let's go with boldness. Let's see how bold I can get. Man, I still haven't gotten a chance to get in there. So, uh, also, Aylita and everybody who just raided me here, uh, just a heads up, we are playing a monster camp. And not only is it me, here are the friends. It is Masay and Hello. Devlin. Hey, hello. 
Also known as Nancy. Hello, hello. So we have the multi stream hello, going. Hello. They are both amazing at doing many voices and everything. They're they're both hello, like top hello. tier. And then there's me. <laughs> You're also top tier. Hello. I mean, You're top I. You're in my books. Also my books. I'm 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 just amazing friends with the both of you. You you two are like super wholesome and awesome. And oh, uh, and... no, you. <laughs> I'm gonna say we're gonna be like the best of friends after meeting on this stream. Oh Hell God. yes, girl. <laughs> we're gonna be. We're gonna have so much fun doing random shenanigans. Oh my god, dude, I, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. Th this is this is a good connect. I agree. I look this, forward to more of this. this, this I think my 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 strongest property is bringing good people together. <laughs> I appreciate it. I meet some of the best people for you. <laughs> <laughs> I also very much appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm happy that we could get this going today. Yeah, Watch me too. fail a smarts check. You know what? I probably am gonna fail a smarts check, so oh. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> While wandering the haunted manor, you are ambushed by a group of evil spirits. <laughs> you put up a good fight, but there's just too many of them, and they run away with your immortal soul. Oh I need no, it. you needed that. Luckily, you always knew this day would come. And you replaced your immortal soul with a beanie baby years ago. So they just stole a beanie baby. Good foresight on your part. You gained plus two boldness. Wait, where'd I put my soul then? Uh-oh. Where is your soul? You oh. needed that. You know what? That probably explains why my smarts are so low. I kind of forgot where I put my soul. Oh, it's <laughs> canon. <laughs> You're enjoying a generic off-screen activity when suddenly... <laughs> Ah, uh, those generic off-screen activities, you know, oh just just happen from time to time. Mm -hmm. yeah, dude. Gee, you're literally exactly the monster I was hoping to see. Oh, baby. I think I finally figured out how to lure the wild lure out the wildfire. After all, third time's a charm. Hey, wait a minute. Is this third. the third time? Th wait a minute. Third time's the charm. Why do we keep hmm. hearing that? Is that a theme? Might hmm. be. Is that is that a clue? Hmm. We shall hmm. see. Hmm. Plus, I don't think I've ever seen anyone's schemes or problems or situations last more than three interactions. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you think back on your interactions at Camp Spooky and Spooky High and agree that, yes, conversations on the topic tend to happen either completely randomly or at most three times <laughs> we tried to prove it we tried to prove i'm metal but we already know i'm metal we tried to prove i'm reckless and dangerous we all know i and all know i am the problem is that those are qualities on the inside they aren't objectively measurable i need to do something that is categorically at its core all of those things. Oh. Yami, thank and you ideally so much for something that the months. old me, that Aravi and Dahlia oh, think is dead, would have done all the time. Can't lure fire. You can't lure fire with fire, so that's out. Which means my second most tried and true activity is on the table. Crimes! Wait, Crimes! Wait. How did you get to that conclusion? I mean, his qualities are fire and crimes. So, remove fire, you get crimes. <laughs> uh, that's true. <sighs> Here we go. Crime time. Crime time. Crime time. Crime time. Yeah! Psyching myself up because it's fun. Not because I've begun to doubt that I really am metal and reckless and cool, since the wildfire still won't appear to me. Damien. Yeah, that was convincing. Oh, this poor sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Should have just stuck to his poetry. What crime do you think I should do? Not because I don't know enough about crime, or I'm not a crime expert and the best criminal ever just because you've been a good hype person for me so i want you to feel included yeah sure yet again another very convincing show of confidence from damien 
keeps blushing. <laughs> he does. He do. But if your spicy red crush needs a little extra push, you're happy to help him out. You suggest the perfect crime. A heist. It's time to steal someone's heart. Or the most popular crime among Gen Z is piracy. You would download a car. I love heists. I cannot not do a heist. I love I have to do heist. Too. Heist movies are so fun. Oh no! What? what? Wow. We're we're, you know we're okay. nailing this, right? <laughs> we're we're doing great. All right. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> yep. Uh... Oh, good point. Why didn't I think of that? It's like Mr. Mr. Rogers says. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers is getting pulled into this. Oh no. The best crime is whatever's closest to you and requires the least amount of effort. I don't remember Mr. Rogers saying that. I don't think he did. Uh huh. Damien what? pulls out a knife and fucking stabs you. Oh my <gasps> god. He delicately cuts out your heart and holds the still pulsating organ in his hand. Oh, I... Uh-oh. Uh, um... Huh. It's weird. This, uh... Somehow feels... Not as satisfying as it used to. Uh, Can't quite explain it. It's like the sheer jolt of adrenaline from stabbing someone has... Devolved to... Passing amusement? Instantly hollow. Agony sears through your system as your pathetic body begins to flail without a heart. Oh my god. <laughs> You're in excruciating pain. I am a zombie, so maybe this is okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <sighs> what if Ravi and Dahlia were right? What if I really have changed? You're not sure, but what has changed is your body's ability to pump blood to keep it alive. Oh no. Uh oh. Is this even a crime? I mean, you're the one who told me to steal your heart. If I have your full and knowing consent, you were A, you, you were either A, doing me a favor, or B, maybe it's your kink. Uh, I don't know. Um. I don't, I don't think it's my kink. Can no. I, can I not... See, none of the above. I, 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 it wasn't really a favor since you were trying to get him to flirt with you and because of the excruciating torment you're feeling, it. For sure not your kink. Maybe this whole quest was misguided. Maybe I shouldn't have let Dahlia and Aravi bait me like that. Maybe I have changed. Maybe that's okay. It's a time where I would have delighted to see all this blood pouring out of you and your heart. But now I'm just really interested in the color contrast between your body and the blood. I wonder if I should take a painting. You see a bright white light at the end of the tunnel, guiding you onward. Did I just die? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. This crime didn't help me at all. Your ideas suck ass. It's the last thing you hear. Be re before responding at your last safe point. <laughs> You're alive, but who cares? You didn't help Damien. Now he thinks your ideas suck ass. You make a joke about wanting Damien to suck your ass or vice versa, but you're too busy mourning oh your. Oh my minus god! Minus mine is too smart. That oh was my god! Punishing. Oof. Oh golly. I see oh, everything rough. doubled means everything is doubled. The pluses and the oh, minuses. Oh, right. That's what it meant. Okay, yeah. so uh. Oof! I have... That was brutal. I'm gonna go for some charm. It's a typical bloody camp dome battle royale. While you're hiding to catch a breath, a severed fist flies through the air and lands in your lap. You unfold it. The fist was holding a tarnished sil silver locket containing the photo of a loved one, likely waiting for the hand's forever owner to return home safely. You toss that behind you and also find a crumpled up coupon redeemable for plus two charm at Pedro's Pastrami Paradise. Nice. Rad! Thanks, mysterious hand. Later, you're playing Mega Dodgeball against camp rival camp. 
You take a ball to the stomach pretty early in the game. You can feel your insides bleeding. Jesus! Oh God, <laughs> but who cares? It all come it's all come down to an epic uh, one versus one showdown of the two most muscular players on each team. Dahlia versus Marty the Minotaur! Fuck yes! Oh my goodness. Oh my to... god. Who mm -hmm. wants that voice? I Listen, babe. You're <laughs> hot. Maybe you should surrender now. You can't defeat me. I gave myself a thigh massage right before this game, so I'm more limber than ever. <laughs> Bring it on, Minotaur! I've defeated both men and bulls in battle. But never have I defeated a half bull, half man. Cause that makes me your first. Oh, oh. my god, those pants. Oh those no. Pants. <laughs> those pants. <laughs> yes, Dahlia, you're absolutely seizing this dodgeball vibe. Make that ball work for it, your murderous cerulean goddess. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> Thanks, Milo. I completely agree with you. I am a goddess! You're a good friend for noticing. It's impossible not to notice. Now fuck this sports game right up. <laughs> My motherfucking dodgeball goddess! Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia is completely hyped by Milo's cheering. She throws the ball super hard. It just barely misses Morty and crashes through the dome's roof, landing in the woods. Oops. You all decide to go look for the dodgeball, and Morty comes along. He says that he refuses to leave a tense, sweating, sweaty duel unresolved. Okay. We're looking for the ball. What do we... What do we know about the ball? I guess... We know it's ball shapes and round, and... Hey, that meh old lady has it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Nancy, you did a wonderful voice for her last time. I did. I'm trying to recall what I did for her. <laughs> I have your ball right here, you filthy, naughty children. Since it fell into the forest, and since I consider the entire forest to be my yard, the ball is mine now. Watch out, you guys. That old lady is the Baba Yaga. She's a witch that lives out here in the woods. I'm an official coven witch, so I know a fellow witch when I see one. Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, this is this is incredible! I, I can't They even shaped it like they even positioned it just so that the text box is right below his shorts. Amazing. Mm -hmm. What? She's a witch? Dahlia, you go get the ball back. What if she puts a curse on me that makes me magically forget the location of the clitoris? <laughs> well, there it is. Yep. I didn't even. Oh I was. God. I was so surprised by the pose. I didn't I even know. read. I didn't I read it either. Until I got to that part of the line. I was like, "Oh my no! Is that the word I think it is coming up? Yes, it is." Oh, this is why no. cold reading is so fun. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> you shall never get your ball back, you naughty children. I will use it to play with my precious kitty, Mr. Beanzo. <laughs> this is totally unacceptable. I was streaming your dodgeball duel to my, to my followers. They need to know how it ends, or it'll be so narratively unsatisfying. Your friends need that ball back, and you're desperate for their approval. It's time to make a trade. Offer the Baba Yaga something too good to refuse. If you give us a dodgeball, we'll give you a fond memory to treasure forever. If you give us a dodgeball, we'll give you a delicious newborn child. Wow, that that's two parts of an extreme. 
Yo, Laughing Boy, thank you for the raid! Hey, Yo, Laughing Boy! Thanks for the raid! I, mmm... God, I feel like this would go either way. Like, oh, I almost want to say, like, the newborn child is going to go the route of, like, we won't be able to find one. <sighs> I'm going to go with the memory. <laughs> Please? Oh, so charming! Oh my god, that posing! So many poses. Uh, must say, I don't think the Baba Yaga is gonna want to get a frickin' memory. Should I, like, offer it a banger? Because I will, if it comes to that. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> what are you saying, Morty? Of course the Baba Yaga will want a memory. Memories are the most valuable currency of the universe. What do you say, Baba Yaga? your ball if we all make a fun memory together. Now, come back to my house, naughty children. I shan't eat you. <laughs> Uh-oh. You four bravely follow the Baba Yaga back to her house in the forest. It's super creepy. The house moves around on chicken legs, and the smell awesome. is... Yikes. Not awesome. You spend the whole afternoon hanging out with Baba Yaga. She bakes you all some fresh cookies and tells you tales from her life of witchery. Ah, the wisdom of generations. So that's why I always curse the innocent people walking through my forest. It teaches them respect. Not that your generation has any respect. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, super insightful point. The wisdom is just overwhelming. That's so sarcastic. <laughs> yes, you filthy children should be learning from me. I am your elder after all. And perhaps you disgusting children can teach the Baba Yaga something too. Like... Perhaps you could show the Baba Yaga how to print out a recipe I found online. <laughs> it's for eggplant parmesan, but I'm going to use a fresh newborn child instead of eggplant. Uh oh. Oh, Baba Yaga. <laughs> yep, yeah, we Baba can. Yaga. <laughs> we can definitely grab the ball, Marty, now! I got the ball! Now let's run away before this old lady throws a curse at my flawless eight pack! Victory is ours! Fuck off, you old mean grandma! <laughs> Ma, you horrendous children! I hate you! Sorry, babe. No hard feelings, right? You all escape the house and run into the woods. The dodgeball is rescued. Thank you so much for rescuing me, the dodgeball whispers to you. It smelled like soup in there. What a victory! Great work, Masay, and now that we've got our ball back, you ready to settle this, Minotaur? Can you guys see my balls? Oh, hell yeah, Dahlia. Let's do this. Let me take off my pants first, though. I want maximum flexibility. Holy shit! The dodgeball duel was awesome! Morty's exposed... Oh. <laughs> is... Uh... Oh. oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're so blown away by this experience that you gain plus two fun and plus one smarts for some reason. Okay. All right, Very cool. <laughs> What's up? Let's go. Oh, Kenny, I'm glad you like my Baba Yaga voice. Maybe I should find more ways to use that one. It is a very good voice. Mm -hmm. In fact, all it your voices have been A+. Plus. It took me years to master that cranky old witch. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, Woods, lake, uh, lake for fun. Yep, woods, woods for smarts. For smarts. And creativity at Scout oh. HQ, I believe. Let's go do it. 
That day in Monster Scouts, you all learn how to build scarecrows. That's vaguely nature related, right? Right? Yeah. You decide to take it a step further, though. You add a magical crystal you found in a cave last month to your scarecrow to turn it into a sentient being. The scarecrow is very grateful to have been made alive. You take your new friend out for a soda and have a very pleasant afternoon. Then you're forced to disassemble him so the next group of scouts can use the materials. Oh god, that is not how I thought that would go. Oh. Your scarecrow begs you not to relinquish your gift of life, but you're a dedicated monster scout first. No, oh, no. no. No, oh, I giveth and I taketh away. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, that, that got really dark. The scouts appreciate your dedication to the organization and you're awarded <laughs> plus two creativity. Amazing. Oh. So creative in both assembling and disassembling. Oh, Cosmic God. Glider, thank you for the hundred bids. You Fun get fact. into another one of uh, Coach's dumb wilderness Calculus survival lectures. Calculus voiced by Irish loud boy Jack Septicon. Oh, I see. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I think Masay should take this one because the, the two of us are in here already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the creature we'll be learning to trap today is more awful than anything you have encountered so far. It's indestructible by non-magical means. It has a creepy fixation on strangers' sexual histories. It it's is. born with a knife stuck to its forehead. Wait, what? Oh, huh? what? Interesting. What the heck is this? Honestly, this thing sounds sick as hell. It is not sick as hell, Damien. Unicorns are an invasive species. We have to kill them. Wait, no, you can't go around killing unicorns. Oh, no. Wait, you want us to capture and kill unicorns? What is this, medieval France? I don't kill anyone unless the plot demands it or if I need their skull for a ritual. Slaughtering majestic cryptids is not my bag. <laughs> what about you, Damien? You don't have the same outdated hangups about killing unicorns, do you? Look, I love murder. If murder had a dick, I'd suck it. But wow! You... <laughs> wow! Help! Oh, no. <laughs> They're just so pretty. This is exactly the problem. No one wants to kill unicorns, but they're a horrible environmental menace. <laughs> How are they bad for the environment? Ever since some irresponsible princess introduced unicorns to these woods several centuries ago, the forest has been overrun with these dancy, prancy pests. Other animals spend so much time singing and frolicking with the unicorns that they forget to eat and die of starvation. Whoa, are you saying unicorns are like a form of addiction? Oh my god. Also, chat, you're right. It's getting a lot more yabbies. <laughs> 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 a little bit. The, the dramatic uptick in rainbows has severely disrupted natural patterns of precipitation. The entire ecosystem is in shambles. This must be stopped. I... Uh, okay. I don't know about that, but okay, keep going. <laughs> okay, okay, that does sound bad, but can't we handle the problem without, you know, killing a whole bunch of unicorns? If we do that, we're no better than they are. Coach sheepishly pulls a blanket over a large wooden crate labeled Unicorn Grenades. What? <laughs> what? Uh, I guess we could capture them, but the only way to lure in a unicorn is by using a virgin as bait? What? <laughs> Are any of you virgins? Not me. I definitely fuck. <laughs> wow! 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 I mean... I Based on the... <laughs> Joy's oh, not a virgin either. Oh my god. No! Fair. What about you, Devlin? Whether you're a virgin or not, you're not about to say so in front of two of your hottest friends. What's another cruelty-free way to catch a unicorn? When people say unicorns are attracted to virgins, what they really mean is that unicorns are attracted to free first-class Oh my god. Atlantic Airlines. <laughs> If Coach wants a unicorn, give him a unicorn. You know, a startup valued at over a billion dollars? 
Hmm. What will you choose? I work for a unicorn company, so I feel like I shouldn't be using this option. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this one also seems like a really silly idea. Thank you for the hundred bits, history master. I mean, what in this game hasn't been Damien, silly? <laughs> well, here's the problem: neither of the choices are immediately obvious which one the right one would be, which mm. is like clever on their part, but also incredibly misleading for us when we're trying to figure out like what the right thing to do is. I guess that is the point, but anyway. Um... Uh... That one. Follow your heart. So creative. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. I mean, bird, 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 bird pooped on a thing, and I'm like, ah! Oh, <laughs> so oh god. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, uh, take care of it. I, I, I did, I did, I got it. You see, kids, this is the kind of lateral thinking that'll really ruin a unicorn's day. To the woods! You print out a huge pile of Virgin Atlantic tickets and leave them in the middle of a clearing and then hide with the others in some nearby bushes. Hmm. I don't get it. Unicorns have been around way longer than Virgin Atlantic, right? How would they possibly give a shit about some random airline tickets? I was wondering that too, so I read several books on the way over here and discovered the truth. Virgin Airlines is much older than most people suspect. They actually began in the 1400s as a mystic order of knights. They only admitted warriors who had never had sex before, thus creating the concept of virginity in the first place. Ugh. Also, their airlines are made of virgins. I couldn't figure out what that means exactly, but it looks like an exciting mystery to solve on our next narrative arc. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Shh! Here they come! With a sound like wind chimes f What?! <laughs> what does that mean?! <laughs> They're banging, obviously. Oh dear. I guess- I guess so! <laughs> that's just- This line, it's poetry. I'm, I'm, my brain is absorbing it. A mm. hundred sparkly unicorns burst into the clearing to impale free- airline tickets on their shimmery horns. I failed at the don't laugh challenge. They are ecstatic. <laughs> this narrator, I tell ya. Let's catch them in, in this unicorn net. I can't wait to brush their silky manes. Sternly. The others move as if to ambush the unicorns, but you stop them. You catch a stray ticket out of the air and show them the destination. Unicorn jail? They're all tickets to unicorn jail? But that's a total violation of due process. You can't send unicorns to jail without a fair trial. You can, and you do. History Master, Later, thank you for the hundred bits. All those unicorns Tight. were wanted for counterfeiting. Wait. Counterfeiting what? The world is saved once again. I'm sorry I doubted you, Devlin. Today I learned that even a unicorn is capable of crime, and any means of bringing them to justice is acceptable. And today you learned that selling out all the unicorns who helped run your counterfeiting business is a great way to make friends. As long as your friends aren't unicorns, <laughs> you gain plus two <laughs> fun and plus one smarts. Damn! Amazing. Who will be our summer love? I mean, I'm gonna try. Do it. Yep. Here we go. <gasps> Please, my love. Please. Please, wifey. Please, my love. Please, wifey. Please. Sweet. You finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. Oh, hey. You wanna be a summer fling, huh? Um, let me run some divination first. You know, to be sure we have a future together. Watch, I'll stir these tea leaves and read the future from them. Let me see. Oh no, these leaves totally say tragedy awaits if we date. I'm so sorry. It's not me, it's the tea leaves who've spoken. Damn tea leaves, right? Oh Oof. no! Bye. Oh no! Oh, How oh. horrible! You cult by impulse buying a parrot off of Craigslist! Oh no! <laughs> oh. 
Ouch. You name your parent dad and try to teach it to say I love you, Devlin, so you can hear the phrase for oh once in your God. life. Oh my Jeez. <laughs> However, the parent only seems to want to say, Someone cut the brake lines, Trevor! <laughs> Stupid fucking parent! Oh my oh god! No. Oh no, I'm so scared! You finally gather the courage to and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you! Us? As a summer fling? Oh god! Impossible! Oh no. I'm a master strategist, and I know a doom tactic when I see one. You and I would crash and burn. Now get out of here before I use you to towel off my sweaty back after I finish this rep. No! How <laughs> <laughs> oh, humiliating the scars you for life! Yikes! Oof. To distract yourself from the pain, you get super into Thundercats! <laughs> you write 1,000 plus pages of horny Thundercats fanfic! You fill your house with Thundercats themed furniture! You legally make Thundercats your middle name! Oh my god! Your life becomes like 5,000% more Thundercats! In the end, and it turns cats. out Thundercats can't fill the hole in your heart! I mean, they can't fill any of the holes in your body, unfortunately. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. Oh my. Yoik. You finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. I don't think this is gonna go well. <laughs> Loser. Oh, you want to no. be my summer fling? No way! Oh. Look, I know I love setting stuff on fire, but I can tell you one thing. I haven't yet set my sense of taste on fire. Yo! That one I still have. Oof, 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 oof. Oof. So long, short. So long story short, no. Jesus, that's Dang, brutal. Dude. Oh my god. You failed to see how you can come back from this. G is doomed to be lame forever. And yet things change, but not how you think. One day, you piss off an old witch who curses you by body switching your mind with an alpaca's. Hey, that doesn't sound so bad. Not only are you trapped in the body of an alpaca forever, but what's worse, the alpaca proves to be better at being you than you were. Oh, oh my god. god. Everyone seems to like the new G better, and you're just the alpaca who couldn't get a date. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe we didn't get any dates at all. We wow. all got banned. That was rough. Oh my gosh. That was intense. One out of 25 secret endings? Uh, you probably got that at a previous time. <laughs> Possibly. Holy shoot. That, that was, was rough. rough, dude. Mm-hmm. My god. That was mighty difficult. Mine really burned. Holy cow. It really did. Oh my god. You buy a parrot and name it Dad. Sweet. <laughs> Tell you to love you at least once. You. Oh my god. Woof. Oh, literally takes my spot and is better me than me. <laughs> That's Woof. so rough. Thanks for the hydrate and trauma. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. uh, hydrate and stretch. Oh, thank you. And now you have summer memories, which can be exchanged for goods and services. Hint, hint. Ooh, time to see what the closing credits are like. And before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute. It felt like an entire lifetime. That night, when we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. It felt like the end of something big. Little did we know, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older, and I can see it, how those years became the foundation of the mythology of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies sung for centuries. Wild nights became epics treasured forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find while gazing to the starry night. 
no matter how many years go by. Oh, I can't believe we couldn't get the ending. No, oh my we didn't God, get any. None of us did. Well, we didn't. We didn't know which stats we were supposed to go for. Yeah, That's and then we true. kept getting like bad choices too. Oh, we, I was we, not good with my choices. Yeah, I I feel like we all basically like got bad choices through most of that game. There were a couple of really good ones though. <laughs> there were there were a handful of good ones that we got. But oh, we got rocked in the end. <laughs> just, just yikes. I thought it wasn't going to be so bad when it started off with you buy a parrot in your sadness, but then it turns into you buy a parrot that you try to teach to tell you that it loves you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these ending credits are so good, though. Oh, that's so cute. They're actually, like, fully animated. So cute. Aww. And I appreciate Aww. The song that they have for this is like stream safe too, so we don't have to be like, oh, mute it. <laughs> I still love her. Let's put our voice actor names in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's cheap. Coach, whatever. Oh yes, she's a gamer. Ooh, look at her go. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my what? Oh, oh. Where is? When does this happen? I. Assume all this stuff probably happens at one point or another based on certain events? Probably. Maybe we should play this again and like try to figure out which stats to get <laughs> for those characters. I really I mean, want to see, sure. really see Dahlia. I would love to play this game again. Same. Like. Aww. Not only this game ridiculous, but like playing with friends as well. It just it's so much fun. The dialogue is so random. Yeah, dialogue is it's fun doing <laughs> silly voices. <laughs> silly voices. Some uh, content gets a little bit extra spicy. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Did you see Milo? Yup. <laughs> Oh it's my god. For me. I enjoy it. Oh, I love all the characters in this too. They're all so yeah, good. Yeah, they're really good. Oh, Endark has his name in the crowd designer. That's cool. I saw earlier that you mentioned that you would, um, you would back to that. Hmm. <laughs> Extra spicy content. <laughs> there was so much spicy content. That was insane. That was a lot of, uh, that was a lot of, of dirty words there tonight. Mm -hmm. how's, how's everyone feeling about all the weird dirty words that we had to say? No, oh dear. <sighs> sweats. <laughs> sweat, 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 sweat. And that was, oh, we've just unlocked something. The Flask Genie. Oh. Kofi Beats. Poison. Stat Smoothie. Kofi. Kofi Beats. I didn't unlock something. Aw, oh, man. There's the, a rejection Ooh. art from Dahlia. There's yep. rejection art for Damien. Rejection art for Joy. Oh my god. Why have I unlocked so much rejection art? Uh, oh no! The three of us played it together, so... Because we played it together, um, we got to unlock the art for all of them. <laughs> uh. So if one of us had gotten an ending, we all would have unlocked that ending. Oh, I want to know neat. more about this purple demon lady. Oh, her? Yeah, she looks awesome. I really want to know more about her. There's got to be something special that we can do to get, like... Bell? Yeah. Bell. Mr. Random Vampire Dude. Ah, uh, yeah, Dimitri. Dimitri. 
so much artwork. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Ah, oh, there's so many characters. Whoa. I want to know if it's possible to like date all of them or if it's just like the main six that you can date. Crazy thing is for all of the characters that we saw, there's so many more characters that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, look at how many there are. So many. Goodness gracious. Business anal paste. We didn't even end up using that. Oh my nope. god. <laughs> <laughs> we did not. And, and Masse didn't even get to use her north-facing moss for when she was lost I in know, the woods. I know, right? It, it would have made so much sense right then. I, it actually would have come in handy. Literally, north point to north. Moss. My God. So it does tell you what the uh, so when at the start of the game when you pick an item whatever mm -hmm. the item may be, mm -hmm. um, you get a stat boost based on the item. Mm -hmm. So if you like scroll over the item in the bottom left hand corner, you can see the icons. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two. Mm -hmm. So you you see which thing you would get a stat boost in. I just went with my heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at the art right now, and there's like a shot of uh, a shot of you at the lake, and then there's just Scott in the lake in the background, eat this stuff in his face with a hot dog. Amazing. And he looks he, he looks very derpy while doing it. Oh, basically like all the the images from the ending credits, like yeah, it was the end credits. Wait, I'm in special stuff, and there's the shot of Scott drowning, and the caption is "Good boys don't swim." Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Special stuff. The best costume contest. The sexiest year ever. Your new favorite book. Some swole birds. Okay, these are some interesting achievements. Anti gambling aardvark. Gambling is not cool, kids. <laughs> Apparently, I've unlocked the best love interest, and it looks like a bunch of radishes that had been stuffed into a shirt. Oh my. Oh. The real hottie in this game. What is this? That Good is something you've swim. unlocked. <laughs> Found it. Too heavy to swim? Yep, that's something that we unlocked when you and me were playing that one time. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a drinks menu. There's a event completion checklist as well. Oh, wow. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god. <laughs> fail, fail, success. Fail, fail, success. Yo, Stop. there's so many things to this. There's so there's much. Oh my god. Now. What's on page 29, guys? Eh, 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 eh. A lot of gossip. <laughs> did, I, did you get a lot of gossip? Uh, no, page 29 is just a whole bunch of gossip checklist mm -hmm. things. <laughs> Wait, Magic online gossip religion. Mm-hmm. Holy shoot, viral oh, tweet, right. name, the meaning, unusual hobby. Religion that I'm a high priest of. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're, uh, you're the big chungus. Uh, uh, no, that, that's the religion. The religion of big, ch big chungus. And the I am the... Of big chungus. I am the... the sloppiness. You are... <laughs> the sloppiness. You are your sloppiness. You are sloppiness uh, G. My and they're adding man. more. <laughs> oh, Unreal. thank you so much for the hydrate and posture check, Howie. Welcome back. This is so good. Oh god, there's so much. Well, I guess we're gonna have to play more of this. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, I mean, no. I have no problem. <laughs> well, I gotta get it. I mean... Hey, if you want to get it, by all means, this game is a lot of fun. And it does go on sale a bunch, too. So if you want to wait a little bit before you get it, then that by all means as well. I mean, like, it also has, super... like, insane replay value, apparently. Yeah, yeah so much. Insane. Absolutely Extra super insane. Shout out to McKinney for getting this game for me, you huh? sweet jerk. <laughs> ah, mm. clockwork. Ugh. He's redeemed the ad time. So in my channel, we'll do a one minute ad break. Hmm. Hmm. The only time I'll run ads is when oh, it's shoot. requested. <laughs> I forgot to add a new point redemption on my channel. So last week I wrote a command on the fly during stream to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and turn it into a command in chat. 
because what? we have a lot of American friends in chat and also a lot of Canadian friends in chat. So oftentimes when we're talking about the weather, we reference Celsius. And then if someone says a Celsius, the people who need Fahrenheit have no idea what it is. So I, I wrote a converter and then I plugged it into like Wisebot or something like on you the fly do while that? I was in stream. What? So I was going to add that as a, yes, yes, you can. I was going to add that as like a point redemption that I could just do. It's like if you have an exorbitant amount of points, we could try. You could suggest a bot for me to write. Oh, my and then I'd God. Have to read it. That's cool hmm. as heck and practical. Yeah, I thought it'd be a fun idea. I just got to go and actually set it up because I forgot to do that before today. Whoops. That's OK. For next time, perhaps. For next time, indeed. There's this whole meta shop thing that's in here as well. What is what is this? We don't accept money. We buy and trade with summer memories instead. You earn summer memories every time you encounter a new event, outcome, secret ending, or special thing in Monster Camp. What special things you ask? Well, trust me, you'll know one when you see one. Oh boy. <laughs> don't fret. That sounds. You'll... That sounds ambiguous, and ambiguity <laughs> usually means bad things. You'll also get some memories just for finishing games, so don't feel pressured. Hey, nice. You can spend I your can... memories here to unlock tutorial guide, new outfit packs, gallery content, and drinks, which you can access in Juan's free drinks. Drinking game mode. Mm. Monster Camp truly is the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? Oh, on top of that, if you've already played Monster Camp before, You'll get your corresponding summer memories retroactively for what you've already achieved. Aren't we nice? Oh, because this was added after. Oh. oh. So what are you waiting for? Either you buy some something or get busy playing the game. That's nifty. Also, there is a hydrate and a stretch redemption in mine. Thank you, thank you. I can buy the cat pack for zero memories. As well as the illustrious Ara Ara. Ara Ara. Ara Ara. There's never any pressure to Ara Ara. Oh, what a fun time I had tonight. Oh, this was so much fun today. This is a lot of fun. I enjoyed this very, very much. I'm, I'm so glad we could finally organize this and get this done. Because I know I kind of wanted to do something like this for a while. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> we, we were talking about doing this for a hot second. things. I mean, when you're in the moment, you kind of just roll with it. <laughs> I saw come up and I was like, I'm just not even going to stop. I'm not even going to stutter. I'm just going to say it without any hesitation. <laughs> well, you kind of have to. You got to just roll with it. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised nobody redeemed like a sing, a sing mode for you during the stream. <laughs> Honestly, that was a missed opportunity. Maybe next time I'll have to do this for 20 minutes. Oof. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> that would be really hard. Uh, but yeah. A very pretty voice, though. Very good Thank singing. <laughs> this was so much fun. I can't wait to do it again. Oh, I would love to do this again. And... Apparently, this game is on sale right now. On Switch. Oh. Is it crossplay? I don't know. Hmm. Let me take a look. Is Monster Camp crossplay? Thank you, Jory. You're so kind. Won't you send me more things to sing for you? Did 
this might actually be cross-platform. Wow. That's cool. Mm, let me double check, because I see something that says it is. Or is that... Uh, da -da -da. Okay, Monster Prom is not, but what about Monster Camp? Mm. It would be neat if it was. Eh, we can look into it. But, I mean, we should totally do this again another time. Plan out more, more hilariousness. Mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the language oh if As you swearing. go under customize oh. game <laughs> there is trigger warning filters and you can allow drugs toilet humor oh. something that is too graphic oh. the well, horrible people we didn't turn that off because it was way more fun <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Oh, we can do outfit packs too. That's cool. I see there's one option. The Damien B costume can be either sexy or super sexy. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, oh no. My. Uh oh. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Eyebrows up. I see I'm missing a bunch of the uh, DLC. I might have to go and snag that. I don't have any DLC. Oh my. I, I bought the whole shebang. I saw, mm. I, I went on Steam, I was like, what's in here? And I was like, let's get everything. <laughs> so my goal for next time is to start with somebody other than Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. You seem to always get him. I'm just like, Watch this seems fun, again. and then it's Damien, and I'm like, all right. That means it's meant to be. <laughs> it might be. I, I did get him in the first one in uh, Monster Prom. I did get him, and it was, it was a very interesting situation. As um, uh, I thought he hated me by the end of it, but it was very much one of those love hate relationships because. Uh in prom he's like no why would i go to prom with you i'm gonna fight you instead and i was like uh yeah that okay. was interesting and then we started making out on the dance floor yep. amazing you sure it was did perfect it's it pretty interesting a plus <laughs> yeah yeah interesting interesting yeah mm -hmm. interesting. everybody watched on as our shirts came off etc etc yep. <laughs> yep, sure oh no uh -oh. <laughs> That's some big uh oh. Yeah. That yeah, was, that was uh, hilarious. That was some like straight up fan service level of of activity happening on the dance floor. <laughs> Perfect. Uh well, we're definitely planning this again, right? Right, 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 mm. right, right. Hundred percent. Right. <laughs> I'm always down to do more streams with both of you, because honestly, this is so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. I was super as, excited as much as about I love this. Playing like the Yakuza games and stuff like that, which in them th themselves are hilarious. They have so much good stuff in them. They're so wholesome in certain points too. It just, mm, I love them for what they are. But I also love playing games with friends. Yeah, me too, me too. Also, I vibed with Devlin real good, so I mean, girl, hey, we gotta hang out. Now, so. <laughs> <laughs> now you can just ping me whenever you want. Uh-huh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna. And then you're gonna be like, well, this is my life now. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna get random like messages from me. My God, so please. Like, That's it. I'm bored. I need Help I need me. buddy, so yes please. Absolutely feel free literally anytime. <laughs> Actually, one second. Where are you? Add friend. I did it. We are officially Discord friends. <laughs> woo woo. Huh? I'm so excited. Me too. 
Toby K has been a source of so many good friendships for me. I'm just <laughs> good at getting good people together. It's just just one of my talents, I suppose. <laughs> she also has a good instinct on who will vibe well with who. Mm-hmm. 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 Because it's just one of those things. Like, going to cons, meeting people, and being like, all right, all right, I see how you vibe, and I see how you vibe, and you know what? I think I think this could be a, a, a cool group, so we, we can all just <laughs> hang out together over here. I think this will be a chill time. Which, uh... uh I mean, the other thing is, like, that whole DDR thing, that was uh, something all three of us could uh, definitely relate to. True. Mulkenny, Mulkenny <laughs> what did you do? Mulkenny, I just saw a whole bunch of windows pop up in Steam. That was, you received a gift, and I'm like, Mulkenny, Mulkenny, I know what you're huh? doing. Uh-oh. Stop it! Uh-oh. You have all the DLC now. Oh, Mulcahy, I can't believe you bought me all the DLC. <laughs> there is, okay, I kid you not, there is a fantasy outfit pack. Yep, there's mm -hmm. Monster there's Prom, classic monster. Fantasy outfits. There's oh! 80s outfits. Oh, sci-fi outfit. My God. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What have you done? <laughs> Jolteron, thank you for following and popping in. Uh, I can't wait for you to see me do all my other weird shenanigans. <laughs> so welcome to the stream. <laughs> Jean's dating service opening soon. I don't know about that. Oh I, I I can't promise dating services, but I can get friends together at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, if I could get that whole dating services thing down, I'd try that on myself first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Uh, you have so many friends. So, mm. so many friends. And I love my friends. They're so good. Yeah, oh, we so love you. No. Yeah. I very much look forward to being able to hang out in person again. Yeah. Me too. Soon. God. Soon. Oh. Oh. There will be food truck season soon. And there will be lots of food to be had. Mm hmm. Also, games. Food trucks, games, food trucks board and games. games. Excuse me. Yes, mm -hmm. many, many board games. Oh yeah. Uh, I will remind me later. I will send you a photo of our board game collection. Mm. Oh my god. It it's a thing. Oh <laughs> my goodness gracious. I also ended up grabbing a couple of board games here and there. Uh, outside of like all my D and D stuff. Um, mm, mm. I ended up actually picking up the whole set for the Bloodborne board game. Because I was like, you know what would be wonderful? Using these monsters against my players in D&D. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, this whole COVID thing happened, which kind of put that on hiatus. But, right. you know, if I ever get back to, like, in-person D&D, then I have minis to use. Oh, that's mm. cool. Like, yes. It's good to have them. You'll, you'll have in-person D&D again. Mm. Yeah. And It'll you'll happen be, again. You'll be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. I also have a bunch of like really cool dragons to use as well. Just yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the fun stuff. Um, we got Rising Sun a few years ago, which was a Kickstarter board game, and mm -hmm. it came with a, a huge array of beautiful minis, and they are just like beautiful little sculpts in their own right. But mm. you could use those monsters in like any campaign. They look so. Oh, so cool. They're so cool. Uh. And Rising Sun was like Risk, but over th over the island of Japan instead of, you know, the world. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I see. And it was just very, like, very tactical. Uh, each of the different clans have a different, you know, ability. And, and so the four colors try and like move out and expand into more territory. But just like, I get so distracted by the minis that I don't care about the game. I don't really, like I'm not a super competitive person anyway. So like, I don't really care about winning the game. If I happen to get really high points, cool. But the minis, they're so cool. Awesome <laughs> priorities. No, I definitely know that feeling. Sometimes the game is more fun to play just for the sake of the fun rather than than the competitiveness. Yeah. 
Like Takedo, for example. You're literally oh playing a vacation. The point of Takedo is to have the best vacation. Have you ever Wait, played what? it, Jose? No, I've never even heard of this. The concept of the game is you travel across Japan trying to enjoy yourself the most. Amazing. And whoever has the most enjoyable trip across Japan ends up winning. Yep. I love this topic and I love this concept for a board game. Oh, uh, also if you ended up getting like the collector's edition, like each character has their own mini Amazing. and they're, they're like very colorful and each character has their own abilities and stuff like that. It is just a wonderful I game. I love that. Oh, I it's love so it. Chill. It's so chill. It's like the perfect, yes, I'm being competitive technically, but it just feels so chill that it doesn't feel like it. Those are the best. Mm -hmm. the, those are the best. Like, I, I'm a pretty competitive person just by nature, but like the the ones that are the best where it's just like you're kicking back and chilling and technically being competitive and, you know, doing their thing, <laughs> but also just like vibing. Yeah. I get that. I get that. There's another similar game called Tang Garden, and the point of Tang Garden is to build the Imperial Garden. And uh, it is a competitive game, but it's also super chill because you're basically just building a garden. So you're putting ponds and like fish oh, down awesome. and birds and trees and like pagodas and, and really pretty, like you're, you're also placing people in the garden though. So you can like fuck with other people. So like <laughs> the, the emperor, the emperor likes to look at dragons. Well, I'm going to move all of your landscaping so you don't get to see any dragons too bad. Oh no. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. I love tabletop. I wish I had more opportunities to play. Mm -hmm. That's so good. One day it'll be okay for you to come visit. Yeah! God, one day. One and now Monday. you have even more reasons to come visit. Yeah. <laughs> right, right! Dang. This wasn't a secret ploy of mine all along. <laughs> <laughs> I, I caught on. I caught on. <laughs> come for the convention, stay for the friends. Mm. Mm -hmm. There it is. One of these days. <laughs> yep. It'll work one of these days. It'll work. It'll work. Mm. Gotta turn up that charm. Oh my god, I just realized something. What? If you go to the characters... Oh my god! Uh -oh. You can change their expression. Oh no. Wait, where? And it's like, they're different poses. Oh my god. So, go oh. to... Oh! Yeah, gallery and then the characters and then... Oh, that's cool! Oh my god, you can see the different outfits on them too. Oh, perfect. Jesus. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yes. What's going on here? <laughs> Modi's playable character, the cat pack, turns oh summer camp into a feline celebration of the best cat ever. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, okay. Did you uh, find some interesting outfits for her? Um. I... There's one where 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 uh, Dahlia has like a bear on her, but she's not really wearing you know a shirt. It's just the mm. the, the bear paws on on her uh, bits. <laughs> you know. Oh my! Wow. Mhm. Mm hold hold on. Uh, was Good. it in gallery? Yeah, gallery. And then go you go to characters, and then you select a character. Oh my God, Joy! Please tell me you have different care. Oh, hello. Ooh, bathing suit joy. Ooh, long dress joy. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. Ah, I see. Wow. Yep, I think oh, I saw what you cute. did. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, hello. <laughs> so you guys actually have more of the outfit packs, so... Well, I do now. Too. Thanks, Mukenny. <laughs> I mean it, though. Thank you. Ooh. All right. Well. Oh my golly! Yeah. So Dahlia in her like bathing suit, she looked so hot. So yeah, hot. Dahlia's bathing suit was real good. Dude, she has a mermaid form. She what? Oh, dang, she does. <laughs> Check out my screen. She's got a mermaid form. 
Oh, I, I, you can I their expressions. That's cute. Oh my god. Also, that version of Damien is pr pretty interesting. <laughs> oh yeah. Little soft nice. boy as a fallen angel. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a special thing. Oh, definitely is. Has to be. Oh my gobby. Aw, oh, Mothman. Mothman doesn't have outfits. Um, what about you? You must have a whole lot of outfits. You're an influencer. Ooh, fantasy armor. I like it. <laughs> I like how one of Calculester's outfits is just him with the cat. <laughs> oh my, what? Yeah, one, no of, uh, one of Calculester's outfits is just him holding that, that fat oh, cat. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, it fun. is. Oh my god. It's that cat. It's the pug cat. There's a breed name for those, but I don't Persian? know what they are called. I feel, I feel like it's Persian. It looks kind of Persian-y. Oh no. Oh my god, Morty. Good night, Cosmic ah! Glider. So much Look goodness. at him in his stupid heart pants. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh, Gamer no. Kenny. Yeah, that's my favorite pose right there. Wait, no, where's the one with his leg up? Also, look at this. He's got like a treasure trail and he's clearly manscaped everywhere else. That's that's an intentional choice. <laughs> oh, very much so. Look at it. It's just like, just it's busting out of his waistline and everything. Oh my God. Oh my, yep, there it is. The kick? Yep. Mm. Yep, Th there it is. Oh my. I wanna see the kick. Oh my! Yep, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Uh, Morty reminds me you. of Metaton. Yes. He? <laughs> yep, Metaton, it's the legs. but as a large ox. Yes. Also, if you guys ever wanted to play Monster Prom as well, I would be down for that too. Yeah, I, I would also that. be down. Because there's a whole different set of monsters to date in that one. Is it a Siberian? No, I don't think so, McKenny. Those are like very large cats, and Maine Coons look kind of like they're giant lions almost, or mini lions almost. O Omax says he needs to join next time so he can do the anti gambling aardvark. <laughs> oh my god, that aardvark. Kenny, stop buying me DLC! <laughs> I know that you love me! Stop it! I know you love me, it's okay. Good night, Wolfman! Thank you so much! Alrighty, well, it is getting pretty late. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should wrap true. things up. We should find someone to raid. We should. Who is Who on right now? Should we raid? Uh, horrible Gamer J is on. Hey, there's this cool guy named 80K. We should go raid him. <laughs> oh my god. I was just gonna say, like, X Devlin and and, and Masay are on right now, so like <laughs> we could go raid them. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I heard Devlin's kind of a bitch. Nah. Never. She's, she's, she's a sweetheart. So never. God. Never, never, never. So needy. <laughs> Jeremy Zanabi, thank you for the 34 way. months. <laughs> History Master, thank you for the 100 bits Aww. with Yabit. Krabali, thank what, you for the 100 bits. What should we send people bits. to? Should we send them to Dark Dead 3? Resubscribe for the 16th Elden Ring, month. Thank some you. Retro. Uh, let's Lady see. Scholar, resubscribe for the 26th month. Thank you. Jay is playing. Uh, right now, um, Katana clearly, Zero, um, which looks. <laughs> Big strong really girl is my fave. Because it's obviously a modern game, but it's and all And Abby as like, we subscribed tier three style. for the twenty fifth month. Mm. Thank you, Abby. Good night. Mm. Have a good uh, rest. Playing Elden Ring. Yes. I think I might go and and uh, mob raid Dio. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. I'm gonna say you down. Uh yeah. Can you can you like send me the name? Of course, of course. Alright, everybody. Let's. What's our raid message gonna be? Since we just did like our <laughs> inaugural what? triple ah! stream. What are you doing? It's so late. Oh, sorry. I know. <laughs> sorry, yeah, Mifa, Mifa's about to. Mifa's about to sick on you. Yeah, Mifa's gonna kill me. Yeah, she, she's she's <laughs> Mifa. <laughs> Hilarious. She gave a squawk. <laughs> she gave you a warning squawk. She's like, hey. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, what, wow. What's our uh, raid message? What yeah, is our raid, raid message? message? Gonna be? <laughs> Oops, all rejects? Mm. Oops, all rejects. Oh, no. Um, I don't know. The one for my character was like, Daddy, love me, basically. <laughs> Daddy, love me? Daddy, love me? Oh. I bought a parrot and named him Dad. I, I think I kind of like Oops, all rejects. <laughs> I, I feel like that applies to, like, all of us at once. Mm. Oops, all rejects. All right, let's hashtag oops all rejects. Let, okay. That'll be our raid message for <laughs> the night. All right, that sounds good to me. Let's go over and say hi to Dio, who's playing Elden Ring. Dio is a close and beloved friend of mine, so let's all go show her a bit of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let's, let's go spread some positivity Dio, over there. But I, I, I know if they're if they're a friend of you guys, then they are good people. Hmm. She yeah, does a bunch of cosplay, good. plays Genshin, Elden Ring, yep. all sorts Excellent. of stuff. Perfect. She helps out with, uh, you know, conventions as well. And Perfect. Just all also does cosplay and prop making streams sometimes. <gasps> cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's real neat. All right. Hmm. Let's go. All right. Let's all go say hi to Dio. Good night, everyone. And thank you so good night, much. Good night, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everyone. This Take so care. So much fun. Uh -huh. Saturday stream is a big maybe. I don't know if I can do it this Saturday. So apologies, maybe do a Sunday evening stream. We'll see what we can do. All right. Have okay. a good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Big hugs, big hugs. Big hugs. So many big hugs. All righty.